Hey, what's up gamers? Before we start the video here, make sure you head on over to our twitch.tv channel and follow us so you can see whenever we go live with these tournaments. The link is down in the description below. Now, enjoy the video. That, and you can play like a Rush Luffy and win, theoretically, right? And make him have the outs. Literally, my one life right now is nothing. Like, what's five? What's, what's a 10k hand? It's still one card. <coughs> still be a two. A two card combo out with a rad beam plus anything. Yeah, I just don't see that being as impractical because you can you can KO that on this turn, right? There's no nothing you can do. Who that is? That is Ryan wow. Mays. Welcome like, in, Ryan. Wow, doxing me with my full legal name. Yeah, it's already on the screen too. <clears throat> my oh. full name's up there. Well, yeah, right. we could be doxed together. Yeah, people make fake profiles of me already. But we're, we're so you're catching up here. We got Brandon on RP Luffy plants Yamato. What? Green Yellow. Yeah, it's kind of wild, right? I thought he picked the wrong leader by accident. <laughs> um, but it's what I said, because I feel like this is honestly one of his worst matchups randomly. Like, because mm. Yamato starts with all his effect active. Immediately all his effect true, active. True, true. Like, he also That's could so have just, rough. he could have also just played Kiko first and given him two Dawn. Like, there's infinite mm -hmm. things as the yellow green player could have done last turn differently. Yeah. And just, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. Well, it's probably, like, no one has practice against this deck, right? Like, <laughs> no, for sure. But at the same time, like, you see your opponents on one life. Mm -hmm. You think generic purple cards, right? Purple plays blockers. They're going to 67 Dawn. You know Queen's coming down. You know Kid's coming down. You know Law's coming down. Those are the turns. Sure. Rage is coming down. Like, like that's what I anticipate, right? Maybe not Rage in this deck because you need to get the mm, 10 to the reset. Because you're so much, yeah. But, like, you need to get there, right? Zoro, Zoro. Yeah, so I don't know. I think last turn it was maybe a fumble by the Yamato player. We'll see if they can recover now. They have a key. They have two attackers on board with one blocker. <clears throat> How does Yellow Green get around the Queen effectively? I mean, you could. Um, see, just giving Dawn does not make sense to me. I wish I could see his hand. I know, because like you could use it effectively first, no? And then give Dawn? Um, not to your leader. Yeah, but like you can just give Dawn like, more effectively. Like, you have a Kiko now. Yeah, he's probably going to, uh, hopefully, he's just going to play a 4-drop and then put 2 Dawn on the Akikun. Uh, attack rate. Yeah. It makes sense. It's um, just... And then, I guess the way to get around, like, the Queens and stuff, you just want to see your Hody, right? Like, yeah, you need Hody, because Hody against this, if Hody had Hody this turn, it would have been Sam. Hody 7 mana, correct? 7 Dawn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Instead of 7 play turn, he could have hody tapped 2 things and just kind of chilled. Okay, he plays two, a 2k and a 1k. Yep. Oh. Um, um, can I pet that dog? I think I saw a dog. Oh, I was nope. two Satori. Oh, Can't pet oh. that dog. There's the doggo. <laughs> then... Give the two dawn attack for eight. Mm -hmm. Very straightforward. Why is that front card in this hand? Which one, uh, Brandon? Yeah. Brandon looks to have. It looks like a event, right? I'm just not too sure. I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea what this deck looks like nowadays. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody does except Brandon. That <laughs> oh, looks like a Nami, right? From yeah. the this the holiday one with the yeah, like... the gift collection one. It's good art. Is that a? That's my favorite. Is that an Otama? Maybe he hasn't here. I, don't know. I feel like you. I mean, either way, like blocking does nothing. You just yeah, blocking. Yeah. Blocking the same as blocking with your leader, right? Because you're six. Yep. Um, is there a way Brandon just takes this, get cards in hand? But then you're how just much is it? So he needs to pitch two cards in theory. Two cards, two cards, regardless of a rat beam or a blast breath. Right. He has like, infinite ways to get around it. Um. So I just don't know. There's, so see. there's no world where you take it, right? Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. He's going up to what? Because if you take it, you are like guaranteeing right. death by Hody. So Brandon will go to an eight dawn next turn, right? Yeah. So what's your eight dawn turn in this deck? Not white beard. Uh, Luffy has to be at nine down to get the bonus. So one, or he, is he can white beard because, because he, the Luffy's eight down, right? Yeah. I haven't read this leader in so long. Yeah. So if he can, if he can white beard, then maybe it's fine. Oh, he played the rad. He had the rad beam. And he thought that long. <laughs> maybe because he probably had two two Ks. He also twenty three minutes left. The game's feels like it's almost over. Sure. So decks. Yeah. It's eight or more life, right? Yeah. Eight or, yep. eight or more dawn or one or less dawn. Yes. Uh. No. No? Zero. Zero down. Zero or eight or more. Zero or eight or more. Okay. Because. Yes. You you pop everything and you get one back. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Otherwise, you could say I'm going first and then I'll ramp yeah, to two dollars. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be way too good. 
I still don't think that makes the leader to be a played though. Going on a play and starting with two dawn? I don't know. You still had a card. <laughs> You're three life. True. True. I mean, even if he was still white beard here, is that even like a good thing? <laughs> like, what do you do? I, I I mean it's probably still it's the like best four cards player, in hand. Right? So you oh. no I don't think so because you have four cards in hand you can't defend anything you have one blocker you're You've an got... AK leader sure but you don't have three attackers like I don't know you can just don up and just make him discard his whole hand then he ain't gonna die because he won't utilize any cards in his hand mm. you know all right straw hat you got the uh, purple zero card <laughs> event it's like getting a purple card with Crazy. Nami what <clears throat> Dragon Ball players man playing with a leader in the character zone. Drives me crazy. Really? Well, the character leader is supposed to be like above the life, technically, if it's Dragon Ball. He's just different. <laughs> He's just wrong in both He's codes. just special. That is Brandon. Yeah, but Dragon, Dragon Ball players do do that. All right. Oh, I guess we can still wipe your Zoro. That's a good point. I didn't think about this. Five ramp. But hmm. you, you don't wipe your, though. Right? Like, this kid. Kid's good. He can give his leader some attack. So, he, I don't even white see beard. it. It's a like kid, though. That's yeah. a good play. So I'll two up, right? One up. Seven oh, mana? Oh, Sorry. Because I had 10, paid one, say so a nine up. Paid this seven, right? Yeah. Two? Am I doing math wrong? He had 10 Don. So he paid what one he... for the Nami. He leader. Oh, he attached one. That's the... We're missing oh, the Don. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's the difference. Yep. Is that, is that kid a blocker too? Or is it just mm -hmm, a five? Mm -hmm. No, right? So five cost kid blocks. There's one blocker, five yeah. in hand. One and he's a 7k that. leader. 7k leader. It was six, 7k, yeah. 1k bonus. Not half white beard. Yes. <laughs> and I was trying to remember all these random cards that don't get played as much anymore. <laughs> so. I still think, like, it, the Kiko turn, the Kiko's done, like, nothing. He could have just. I still think. Brandon should be at zero life right now because the turn that you missed, he just played Kiku and did attack for six mm -hmm. when he could have just attacked for ten and now played Kiku. Oh, because he didn't have a blocker up and he was at just one life because he doubled, he attacked for eight first turn and mm -hmm. double striked him because that's why we're doing because he didn't have a blocker established. And took it. <laughs> yep, and then you just put him at zero, so then you're just kind of like sitting there the whole game, like yeah. it's harder to deal you, with. That's like, I think become... that's been the, that would be the most contention, like the point of contention of this game is like, is that. Your turn two, even though it's only turn two, mm. would have been the turn that could have changed the whole game for him, like the landscape. Like the Seiko has attacked for one and just got got one card out of hand. Hody. There's the hoodie. That's big. Oh, and he chose to rest the dawn. That's I and, and, always and forget. Yeah, no, I'm saying like yeah, the dawn and queen. That's so sick. Yeah, it's so good. Oh it's man, insane. you rush with the, uh, seven at seven, right? Is it seven or eight? Uh, eight. Eight. I would have given that thing. Oh, you give it two down now. You give it one down. Make no, you get more two. attacks. Well, he only has to discard one card because uh, he's a seven k leader. Yeah, what I'm saying it's eight k, right? You just give it one down to make him use oh. two cards, right? Like it's such a value play. Sure. Do you just make it go to nine? Like you don't make it go to nine because you can get the two card discard, right? He takes it. He takes it. Okay. Just poke him three times. Oh nope. He makes him have a 2k. I, I, I kind of... I actually dislike that because you could have went 8 and 8 and then put stuff on... I... Yeah. So, does he die on the crackback? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so Dog got rid of the Zordura. If Brandon has... Like anything? 5... Uh, gear five, which I don't see it, but if he ha if he drew gear five here, he actually might have just won. Yeah. Um, which is kind of crazy. But I don't think you need gear five in this like, game, though. I think he's just very value seven at least. You just make him discard cards. I think you just win by math, pure math. Unless that's a trigger that heals life. Like that's like it, right? Which he's playing. Um. Yeah, I actually think Brandon takes this down. Right, he just attacks with. Takes for eight. No, takes that and then Dawn the leader to. Oh, well, the trigger. He's reading it. Goes in. Oh, rip. And then. Crazy. Oh, uh, punk, punk gips. Why did he? Wait, was that the trigger? The punk. 
I think so. Why do you just rest the leader? You can't. Right? It's four costs. Four costs. Well, trigger says... Trigger says anything. Trigger says... Right? Surely you can't do leader. Where's that? I'm, I'm sure it says it's, rest... No? Rest to any character. Okay. <clears throat> it's been so long. Punk Gib. All right, Mark, what do we got? Rest one of your opponent's characters. characters. Oh, okay, it's so not the leader. So you get, maybe it's a four-cost thing. Mm -hmm. They do it could be anything. Right. That could have been wild. That would have been disgusting. If he, atta if he had attacked... Well, he, he could... Dawn... You know what I'm saying? No, he only had one leader. One attacker up at that point. It was a character. So if he had attacked with, like... If he had attacked with it for some reason, if he had misplayed it completely, and attacked with leader first before, like... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Or if that was the second life... Or if that was like the, if he had taken the life and just rested the kid, hmm. then you're kind of cooking. But I don't know. It's kind of wild. But I don't know. We'll Red, see. Purple, Luffy. <laughs> Not a mistake. Mm -mm. I just want, I wonder why he played. I wonder if it's a good soccer matchup. I'm sure it does. Like what soccer? But you would have to right? Raiders like or you have to beat soccer and you have to beat RB Red, Law. Purple, all. Which, yeah, this deck, they... I think RB lose. Wall would be good against it, except Kitten Killer becomes, what, a 7k automatic or automatically-ish? Um, one one life, after right? One yeah, yeah, so basically automatically. Um, I think overall it, it would do okay. Oh, oh man. <laughs> yeah, I told you. Oh, that was so fast. Welcome oh. back, guys. We're going into round two of the Versus Games three-box tournament for OPO6. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got it. we're going to have... Two local players, Michael and Logan. We have Michael on Reiju, right? Yes. And then Logan on Anel. Yes. So pretty standard matchup right now. Somebody drop this around 10, 11, 12 area. Heard. Thank you. Um, um, just keep it face up, and then if someone's missing it, just ask them to... What so, I think a, so we see here that I'm getting set up now. Okay. Man, unsleed leader killing me smalls. God. That's like your mo. No, no, no. I played max rarity on no mat and bridge my deck. Those yes. are two different things. RPS okay. to figure out who's going first. Big. That's such a that's a rule thing. It is. Logan, a... Logan won the RPS guy, so he's deciding. I'm excited. You got Anel with an LC. He's he's balling all out. So we can see here, Rage's looks like a pretty standard hand, but no stage, so he's got all going back. So, McCormick, <laughs> McCormick is interesting. I don't know if he fixed it, because I did see um, someone... So, McCormick's brand new to the game, but not new to card games. Um, and his list that I saw, which Even hopefully now, changed coming. with cards that he is borrowing, uh, he was playing stuff like the event that is... Um, oh my god, it's called like Rainbow colors or what's the uh what's the one drop purple event that is a baroque works i have no idea okay it's from like set five i think all I the colors or something like that but like let's just say mccormick was playing very unconventional stuff just because he was new yeah is it okama way no that's oh. a good one and it's oh, also leader locked okay um Yeah, that one. Color, color trap. Colors trap. Dawn minus one counter, one dawn. Your leader or up to one of your characters gets one K for this battle. Then rest a character. That seems pretty mid. Yes. <laughs> but uh, I know he borrowed some cards for the tournament, so hopefully he has those kind of cards out of his deck now. Cool. All right. So we start us off. Stage. Stage standard. The best. Cooking. This is literally what Reggie wants to see every yep. turn one. Pitch. Pitch seven drop. Pitch big guy, add small guy. Okay, add some all. Cooking. Seems ideal. Sky Pia searcher. I love that he has a energy marker as a Dawn. I cannot describe to you how funny that is to me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Bandai players. It's a Ginyu, uh, it's a Ginyu oh energy marker from Future God. World. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's my favorite thing that I just witnessed. I okay, Sage as it. Judge. Discarded. Eight. Okay. No trigger. He just snap took that. Didn't even want to trigger it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, another Ginyu? Okay. I'm not even mad. He has four of them. 
he needs to have 10. <laughs> they're like a dollar piece nowadays. Are know? they? <laughs> yeah, they're so cheap now. Okay, so I think this is her Holly Ohm. The old Holly, mm-hmm. right? This is the ideal. He's got a grip. It's like white beard. Yeah. Well, let's see. I just really don't know what to anticipate right now. He just... Did he pass? Why did you know attack? Because he wants to be able to Gadatsu next turn. His yeah. six drop? You just be at five. Do you just defend your life? No. I don't know. And all, and all players love not attacking. <laughs> it's I, I don't know. maybe that's right. Maybe that's wrong. I have no idea. That, yeah, that seems, I still don't feels very head, wrong. Head around me, it. Where you just kind of do nothing. I haven't played enough in L to know, but that feels wrong <clears throat> where you're not just getting value or at least just. The only time that I agree with I, that is if you are okay. on odds and you're playing against Sakazuki, who's on evens, and you don't attack your first turn because you want to be able to. They're good odds. It's different, right? Like this, this feels like there's so much dawn and there's so much, there's so much more no, variation. No, is he gonna? That's crazy. If he just plays Reju. Okay, pitch Reju mm-hmm. for stage. Look at the top three. Then he's gonna play, yeah, give grab baby Reju, cook it. Play. Doing exactly what he's looking for here. Yeah, but now this rewards Logan for not attacking. <laughs> It'd be the same, though. It would still kill it. Because it's four. Five and four is the same. No, he... So, he goes to three life if he attacks. And then... Isn't it total number of life? No, that's Yamato. Oh, see, that's my mistake. <clears throat> You're right. I'm wrong. <laughs> That's why I was very confused. Table three needs to judge. Okay. All right, back, guys. So this will reward Logan. That's smart, then. I mean, it makes a lot more sense than not attacking. More Ginyu. Look at this. This Ginyu boy. He's going to play get out to pop the Rage just like Ryan anticipated, and they're not attacking. So it makes a lot of sense now of why he didn't attack and just try to value the play. So here, they probably attack now. See, that's just like a heads up play that only you'd only really get after seeing it once or twice or actually playing the deck. Like me never really playing this deck and anticipating that in this matchup changes the game a lot. Because he just, what he did was he kind of sw- took over the board, played a creature, well, a character, and was able to discard a card from his opponent's hand. Seems very big. Yeah, the Gadatsu play. Yep. Yeah, very, very big. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, like I was just saying, it, it creates a lot of like things that like, you wouldn't pick up until you see it happen once. Like now it makes complete sense to me. I would never not do that. <laughs> but like, because I've never, never played the matchup, one is huge, like for me to try to speak upon like why they make a play or why they don't. Mm-hmm. But that makes complete sense now. But if he got any other baby, then it didn't matter. Yeah. That's fair. But I mean, you have to play to your outs, right? I mean, it worked exactly how he wanted it to work, so who's to say if it was right or wrong? Because um, maybe he was always playing Gadatsu this turn based on his hand. We haven't really been able to get a good look because he keeps putting it down. Mm-hmm. If he was always going to play Gadatsu, you might as well try to play to your out that he does it. <clears throat> True. If he doesn't have it, then you're just on seven. And you go wide, maybe. You just kind of ignore it from there. Mm-hmm. What's the best play for Raji right now? Not nothing's great. I mean, I, he can he, get he defended his life last turn, which I think is kind of interesting. In discarded Kaya, okay, I think I was taking it just so, like, in case he can't get out to me again if I wanted to baby raise you. Yeah, okay, okay, plays a restage, sure, discards it. Did time. he already use stage this turn? Yeah, okay, it looked <laughs> it looked active to me, and he just replaced an active stage yeah. with another one. I was like, uh, <laughs> he used it, so he's five at five. I like that. I like just to see, get a feel. Yeah, folk. He's at a point now where Anel has to start defending his life. Um, he's got he's got like every big every big Vince move, right? So as long as he has small yes. ones in his hand, it, and I know he has the so queen red. red was that H no H G is blue? Yeah. Um. So double mother, big Raju. queen. Queen, another big Raju, Red Ranger, and a Judge, I think? Yeah, HG is red. Sorry, HG is red. Yep, 
So double mom, judge, double raid you. What is that? Baby judge. Judge. Oh yeah. We he added a judge early on in the stage, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as I like turn two he did. Um if I'm in Cormac, I'm I think probably queen. Yeah, I'm drawing three cards and discarding one. Yeah. Not in that order, but <laughs> Nice one. So then it puts him at what? He'll be at five down right now. And then uh, yeah. So he can't he can't judge next turn then. Did, mm -hmm. did he miss his trigger? The Raju trigger, yeah. 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 Is it a Mando or is it a must? Uh or is it a May? I think it's mandatory. Uh mandatory. Okay. But now cards trying to kill the turn deck, draw one card. Okay. Mandatory and then draw your cards. Kind of funny, McCormick came from Yu-Gi-Oh! And he's not reading his cards, chat. Oh man, that's hilarious. And it has to be used on the first one. All these cards. Yeah, you have your cards. He didn't do anything this turn. He, he hasn't, yeah. He just didn't draw the card. Yes. Yeah. It's mandatory. It has happened on the first one. That's a big thing for this game. Is like if it's mandatory, it's a once per turn, and it meets its trigger. Even if it's if it, even if it's like a may effect, it's not tied to a cost. It has to trigger the first time if it's a once per turn. So if that was a may draw one card, he couldn't just wait for later yeah, to draw it. He had to have done it on the first Correct. return dawn. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> what? Why is it that way? Because it's a once per turn. It's a once per turn. It triggers. Oh, it so triggers. It, it only triggers the once first per turn. Correct. Regardless of its effect, right? But Vid Smoke's mandatory. But let's say you had one yeah, that was like no, a one. Yeah, I'm following now. Yeah. I got it. There's a lot of Bandai cards like that in this multiple, in all throughout the games. Mm, it makes sense. Yep. So that's how One Piece works. Did you want to have some variable rules, Dragon Ball similar to One Piece? Mm. Or One Piece similar to Dragon Ball, depending on how you look at it. Sure. All right. So we have, what, seven? Four on. Oh, five. Sabo? Sabo. Just Kale's a queen. Yeah. Huge. Huge. I did not anticipate that at all. I have not seen... I only played a Bakio Luffy. I didn't anticipate that card actually Yeah. play. But here is truck. crazy right now. I think that card is so good in Bakio Luffy, so it makes sense mm -hmm. why he plays it in L. Just strip five mana, trash top card, trash top or bottom, or just trash bottom, maybe? Uh, it's the top. Top, right? Yeah. yeah. In, or, in, no, it's top or bottom, I think, because with Ace, I think you're able to get rid I don't know. We're, we're, we're going to bring it up on the screen. Yeah. Just so in regards to Trash Life, in Black Hill, Luffy is broken, because you can get around the Luffy effect to where it goes to the bottom of the deck. Top or bottom, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because in Luffy, it's face, you can your face up, guys. You can just recycle it again next turn. Yep. Insane. I love that. I think cards are very well positioned right now. Yeah. It, it, I don't think, yeah. It wasn't as well positioned pre EB, EB1, mm -hmm. but in between EB1 and this, I think it definitely got a lot stronger because I can KO a lot more. I agree. Um, With the prevalence of RP law. Right. It's it's just Thunderbolt on a, a dude, right? Yes, especially yeah. in Black, Yellow, Luffy, where you're able to just get around its effect because mm -hmm. it trashes, it doesn't go to hand. Right. It's ideal. So yeah. you can just every turn free, free real estate, and you can cycle the same one you just, you put back. Mm. Insane. All right, so pass back to him. So right, Michael's turn on what seven down as well. Or why why is that not? Like why can't we see that's, that that's version of the chat? That's exactly that's that's, that's oh, 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 oh oh gotcha gotcha. He's gotcha, gotcha. nice. I gotcha. Um. So I, I don't I don't know what he's gonna do this turn. I feel like you're kind of so definitely Red Ranger you have target to Godatsu. Kill Godatsu? Yeah. By attacking twice regardless, because you come out with one attack. But then you still have what, like three mana up? It's four play? Yeah. Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four for Red so, Ranger. So Okay. Do you Maybe poke. Well, okay. I want to use stage, stage away like one of the rages. Stage away that. Okay, I thought it was discarded for stage. I was terrified. Yeah, I still is, wouldn't so play like that yet. Talk, all right, so we we do that regardless. Like, 
you, you pop this, you draw off your leader first, you get your thing, you see your plays. I want to attack with my leader for five first. Why? Why not just minus the Gadatsu so you get a free attack? His, oh, a leader into Gadatsu? Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, right? Like, you're not going <laughs> to... You, he's a grip, and you're never going to put him to zero. So it's just like, there's no world, right? So you just go for board as much as possible and play around that. But if he did take the 5k swing, and then you're like, he's not taking, Red Ranger, he's attack not taking for the 10. Five, <laughs> he's not taking the 5k swing. He has like 10 cards in hand. And no world is he giving up his that at all. And L players are greedy. Well, okay, well, I'm assuming he's going to play correctly and not take it. Uh, uh, it's pretty bad. It's dead. Yeah, it's super dead. And then see, I would have went. See, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's no reason to give up for I mean, like. I guess yeah. you don't have another play, really. I definitely would have staged. I don't know what I'm looking for at this point. Do you have everything you need? As McCormick? Like, what do you? what else do you need, right? Like, what else are you looking for? Uh, he's got all the big guys in the drop, right? So he can't. He got all the small guys, so he can do the judge play, no? Yeah. So like, what else? Like, the question is like, is there ever like a time where it's like, what where you value one of the cards you hit more than whatever you can search? Because like, what are you gonna search? Yeah, I guess you don't want to minus Dawn, because like, I would say maybe search for like a a baby blue or something like that. Sure. But. If you're wanting to have a judge turn next turn, you don't want to do that either. So, yeah, yeah you're right. So, I mean, I, I mean, I, it's not right about right or wrong. It's just like what it can be. Right. So, yeah. all right, Salvo attacks in. It seems reasonable. But what's he going to do on 10? What's, what's, I know. What's, yeah, it's like, what is Logan going to do for 10 mana? Um, for 10 dawn turn. So, like, I, don't think, I, I would assume he plays the Anel Rusher, because I think the card is cracked, so I'll just slam that. He's got, like, Holly Ohm, maybe? Taps four, five? Okay, Kiku, sure. Great card. Great card. Five. Uh, okay. What is that card? That is KO any character, go down to one life. Um, is that a card people play nowadays? Yeah. Interesting. Couldn't dig it. Is it, is it locked to a Nell? It is not. I'd take that card. Yeah, Kingdom Come is the name of the card. Six. Dawn, kills one of your opponent's characters, then trash cards down after you have one life cost. Sweet. And then the trigger, trigger is, is Yamato effect, I think. Yes. Oh no, it's only your opponent, so it's Godotsu. But yeah. He's like, wait he's, a second. He's reading Kiko, though, which oh, is doesn't he? do anything. Okay, right so he's saying, yeah, he's like, well, he's just I'm at it. three life, so if this dies. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Cards in hand. Seven. I guess I nailed a deck that if you never really played a bunch of it around it, it's very confusing. Oh, for, yeah. Things coming from every which direction. Also, that the Kingdom Come might not have been the, like, yes, it was a good play because it dealt with that, but he's, can, he depends on his judge turn, he knows he has it. True. So, like, it feels almost like a waste. Like, I feel like he should have waited for this room, but it maybe is a second. I don't know an L list that maybe they play two. That card, I didn't know they played it at all. Right. So, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like this is a... Uh, might have been a miss. Like, I trying to see. He's got a couple of events in his hand, I think. He's a yeah. cost event. Um, I just don't... I, don't... I think that was the only one, right? Like, he yeah. doesn't have two seven drops in his yard? I, I don't think so. Yeah. There's only one. I, I this feels like the judge turn, right? Like I don't know when you're not playing judge. Mm -hmm. Like there's no way he's gonna deal with the board. Yeah, there it is. You just have to. Yep. Oop. Oh my god, this is where we get to do everything. You get to play the game. This card too. You get to do everything. Go go Power Rangers. Assemble. Where's the green one? You don't play the green one. Green one's kind of bad. We're gonna play trigger. Use the draw card. Yeah. I'm... Yes, the draw card. Spray. Ooh, sp you're good. You're good. He he did. 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 <laughs> Pop his croc there. No, dude. No, Dave. Did not. I my stitch crocs. These are my crocs. Crocs are way of life. Okay. So first up, we raid, raid you. Transform. Uh, does he have five cards in hand? 
five or less? I think so. He did discard two. They drew yep. one. Yeah. Uh, this right. is blue. Blue bounce I... Kiku. Yep. Yep. Okay. And then red shrink Babo. Yep. Attack with leader into Babo. Yep. And pass through. And hopefully just murder. Anyone else just hearing the theme in their head? Yes. Yes. Go, go, Power of the Ranger. Yeah, Niji Niji's just really good too. I don't I didn't see McCormick indicate the minus two K. I'm gonna say it out loud. So Logan still has like yeah, eight dead. cards in hand. Yeah, you're never defending <laughs> this though, so I think it's fine. Like you got you have to commit one card, then the seven K, so you have to commit like three or four cards. Mm -hmm. for no value. Because you're never gonna win off that. I think Razor feels really good right now. Uh but I mean Logan being at one life is, yeah. Logan at one life is like very misleading though. True. Because um, like what is one life? Especially you can what is life? Especially when your triggers also are gaining you life, um, you could so what, seven effectively be a what, six two, life ring. Seven or eight cards in hand now. Yeah, I think it's eight. Um, so what could he do? Like, what would I want to see right now? Can as an L, in an ideal world, we are playing Yamato, popping Reju, and then drawing, or getting a life, and passing. And swinging five of five. Uh, swinging six of five. Yes. Yeah, I think that's like the ideal world. Yes. Uh, I agree. You have knows a play. We just go as wide as possible, but like you're not gaining anything. Like McCormick defended his life early and has been at three life. Like this is, I feel mm -hmm. like the the problem with Anelware wasn't attacking early. Yes, it was able to get Dotsu the one raise you, but yeah. The non-aggression has led him to a position where it feels very unfavored. Huh. Yeah, All right, Logan. Needs, yeah, Logan needs to make a play, though. Show us what you got. Like, this is now we're past, past the point of thinking. See, when I table judge, <laughs> I would have told, told him to make a play by now. Because I don't... I, I think this is a... Like, you, because a lot of players think, like, oh, I have 10, 11 minutes left. I play a time, we're not in overtime yet. But these are the times where you don't realize you're in time. Like, this is, it's that you have 30 minutes, you're in time. Yeah. You're starting with the clock. And these <clears> are the times <throat> where you're more lenient to let your opponent take more time. And you, and you shouldn't. Seven. So, not a Yamato. Play. It's so hard. Could He's gonna, Cat he, his judge, judge to the bottom? Or, something? or Cat, ooh, Katakuri onto Niji is actually pretty cool. Because I think that's his only Niji. That card does nothing now, right? Niji? It's, it's 6 guy, right? It's the weakest? It's 7. Niji is 6. The blue is Whatever. 6. Red, red. Red. Niji. Niji, is, that, Niji meant, is 7. Yeah, yeah. I meant that one. Yeah. But why not just put back Judge? I mean, you can put back Judge. You can put back... I mean, each guy is... You don't want to put back Judge, right? Oh, so, okay. I know. I, I thought this was the card I wanted to see the most played. Was last just, turn. <laughs> yeah, last turn. <laughs> Because I feel like he would just been in a better position. Because that you, you just trash your life, you get you gain your life back. You knew his play was gonna be judged. Like you could play around it, right? Mm -hmm. You anticipated it. McCormick discarding three cards. Absolutely. You're cooking because you want less cards because he can re-raise you. Mm -hmm. This is this is where this is where like he just gets the straight. So now, just trying to downsize Logan's hand. While also dancing around the one life, and that was so sneaky. <laughs> it's so sneaky. Yeah, it's a very pivotal turn for McCormick, so he's gonna take his time. Oh, just five k lead. Let's get rid of a card. Boop. You can have my Shura. And five k lead again. Yeah, 
and there's a 2k, so that's telling to McCormick if he picks up on that. And 7k, so we're going to try and get rid of two cards. Probably an event here, the zero cost event. I can't see if Logan has it in his hand, but that would be my... Yep, he's, it's at the front of his hand, so... Yep. Probably going to play that. And then... If he does that, if he zero drop events, I'm not attacking with Ichidi or Judge. I'm just passing at that point, I think. Or attacking... Oh, no. Um, it's tough. Because you don't want to just generate card advantage for Logan for yep. no reason. Oh, he takes it. Pitches an L character. Hmm. You just go in, right? I think I go nine with Judge and then yeah. ten with Ichi. He's gonna go. I don't know seven. Seven's, just seven's two really cards. bad seven's because it's just two cards. Event. It is just that, yeah. Um. Yeah. So, I don't think McCormick knows that these kind of cards exist. Um. Good. New, new to One Piece, not new to card games. It's all a learning curve. Uh, one more, one or two more dawn on that would have made a world of a difference. And now we're gonna go nine at life. Uh, Logan probably taking this, and then hoping to see a Katakuri or a Yamato on his his turn. Yep. Uh, Ooh, can you get a rush guy? Does he have another one in the yard? He does. I thought it was that was his only one. Boom. So? Boom, boom. He has no counter. <laughs> What's <That's> crazy? Cool. <laughs> uh, Mikey McCormick. Little drummer boy. <laughs> Takes him down. Welcome back, guys. So here today we have Alexis, recent uh, top eighter at the Kissimmee Regionals, playing with Red Yellow Sabo, which is an awesome leader. And then we have Chris here, not Chers, right? Chris. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Gogo. -Go. Uh, Chris or Gogo -Go, uh, here on Anel. So running back Anel, but this time against another really cool leader, Red Yellow Sabo. The Three Brothers Star decks are actually one of the coolest ones ever. Um, it's such an amazing product for everything too. Like you go, you got to process like the Three Three Brothers ones. So I'm pretty excited to see this matchup. You said, uh, Mark, you said that he played locals last week with Sabo and gained 20-something life. Yeah, so uh, for any of y'all watching out there, this is Goblin, uh, a.k.a. Gob, Goblin FL, whatever y'all know him as. Um, Smash player normally, but has recently picked up some residence in the One Piece card game community. And if you saw his Twitter the other day, uh, he came to locals... He played against an Anel player who never swung at him, uh, attempting to starve him of uh, cards, but didn't realize Sabo's effect, and uh, Goblin gained 26 life in that game. 26. He ended the game with 26 life. So I don't know how much he exactly gained, but he ended the game with 26 life. That is a... I'm pretty sure that's a record. And he just spaghetti his deck trying to... Uh, that's a literal nightmare. Yeah. But... Yo, Gabi Online, thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the squad room. Good to see you. But, yeah, Gob did, in fact, gain up to 26 life in that match. It was very funny to see. Nobody could, be uh, nobody believed it at first. They were like, why is there so many cards on that side? Is he just like, is that his trash? It's like, nope. Oh, we're we talking about Goblin having 26 life on Yeah, that's his, that was his face. That's insane. Life? Yeah. Um, I don't know what happened. That he was game. like, do I not do anything to stack out and just defend attacks? Yeah. <laughs> I feel yeah. like he lose that game. That's why he played. Well, he won. Yeah, he did end up winning in overtime. <laughs> he won in overtime. Clearly. Because he, he, he was up in life. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Gabriel? Feel, good to like, see you, man. I feel like this one will go X. I think this one will go attack, probably. Right. I'm for sure. It's a now versus yellow versus yellow mirrors. This is actually just a Smash matchup happening on the stream right now, guys. Really? Yeah, these are two Smash players. Does Chris have a handle for Smash? Go go. Uh, go go. Yeah. Go go. I would have parried that. Yo, shout out to Gabriel. Last time I watched that guy, he had a nasty rob, dude. 
<laughs> one of the nastiest Robs in the South. Dude, Rob was a cool Rob character. <laughs> Rob was a cool character in Smash, dude. He has lasers coming out of his eyes. <laughs> he does, in fact, have lasers coming out of his eyes. He was really down spiked. Right? I don't know, bro. I haven't played that game in forever. That's what I remember. I just produce it. Gogo's Dawn or nearly TOS. Nah, oh, he's chilling. Not Bandai sponsored that. <laughs> he takes the bottom of life. This is the most triggering thing for me. It's when people take the bottom cards of their life. Yeah, what's the point? <laughs> we were talking about it earlier. Just, there's really no reason, but it's just can because you can. Yeah. What is the the turtle do? Um, if you attack for seven, I think you can put a zero cost character in your life or something like that. Um, Kiromatsu. Jeez. I don't know how to spell it. Broad guy. It's from the yellow starter deck, from the Yamato one, right? I believe so. Um. <laughs> oh, Mark's gonna reach in. Not STO9. It's probably the main deck then. Oh, then it's five. There it is. Yep. Kawamatsu. Well, it's gone now, anyway. We will know. Kiku. One of the best cards ever printed. That card is so strong. I'm very surprised that it exists. I'm surprised that it's just a ray with no alt art. <laughs> that too. That's what gets me the most. Yeah. But SP hey. eventually, maybe? Question mark? Maybe. I don't know. It, it, it could. I don't know. Rush A is such a great card. Yep. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> Ooh, thank you for the follow. I don't know who it is since he pop up. Oh. Trigger life, put dog in play. Can I pet that dog? Oh, Kiku has reprint in a new collection set. Ooh, nice. Oh, that's Kiku Nojo, though? Because I, I thought the. Um... It might. I don't remember. That'd be cool. But we'll get it in like six months. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what it is. Very cool. That's awesome. Okay. That's cool. But Dogstorm, Kikunojo, all the red scabbards, or the Akazaya 9. Yeah. Um, we get it in OP 12. <laughs> <laughs> right, so when we're all 36, we'll play that set. Yes. Hey, that's like me tomorrow, basically. You're younger than me, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay anyway. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> All right, um, it's cool that we're we're getting to see yeah, some like, like new not cards. so played decks. It's really fun. I think it's a really interesting event. Like it's like thirty pl thirty plus players. We have six rounds going into yep. today. Thirty four. Thirty four. Six rounds of I don't know six rounds. So I just got to top eight. It'll be fun. It's really cool seeing non like we saw red, purple, Luffy. Yeah. First round. Second round is pretty standard. ish and L Raju. This round we have like, is still not like super so it's tier two, right? But yeah. it's so cool. It's a very fun deck to play. Yeah. But still, like not. I wouldn't be surprised. You don't see it if you see it. I mean, it made right. right. So we got to see Sabo, red yellow Sabo, do his effect for the first time. Where if he has a dawn attached, he could put a seven k into life, face up. Uh, so Dog Storm is now in life, and this is going to be like the dance that you see, because Anel can no longer really. Effectively attack into his life because yep. he puts Dog Storm in play, then uh, Goblin goes attack for seven, so put God Dog Storm back. And it's a cycle. Cycle of life and death. And around and around we go. Kawamatsu. Did did we get the what that card does? We got more on it. Oh, you passed it. It's right here. Awesome. Okay, so trash two from your hand, add one character with zero power to the top of your life. Face up. Cool. So that's uh, Shirohoshi? Not Shirohoshi. It was Shirohoshi, uh, sure, but uh, it's the other one. Um, Hiori. Hiro, yeah, Hiori. I like the sister. <laughs> but I guess it's more so just that he plays off of life. Yeah. And then <laughs> Dog Storm's effect. So 1k counter. Dog Storm's good. Yeah. It, um, Godatsu's. Pretty neat. Uh, let's go, go, go. 
He can't keep up with those sandals. <laughs> That's funny. It's such uh, a weird matchup, though. Yeah. I feel like Sabo's like slightly pulling ahead, but. It. So both of these decks make the opponent play awkwardly. So we both just have awkward staring yeah. matches so have, shortly. So we're five at five. Just to get a feeler. Do you take it just go to one? But no, right? Because then he can attach Donnie or anything requires more. If, it's, if like I a, can, it's a value poke. Yeah, if I can give one card for this, I'm going to. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like he has a Godatsu to see he's going to discard mm -hmm. counter, right? Like, yeah, you're never using the Godatsu to kill anything. Are you sure? Well, if he gets 20 life again, he kills everything. Okay, well... <laughs> just saying. You said he did it before. He did. Alright, but... so I go 7 at <laughs> I'll counter out. Sure, Hoshi. Go 7 and 7. Yep. He just wants to die. Ooh, it's big. He didn't anticipate that. You can see Goblin was kind of confused. And I said, okay, I thought he was going to crit the life. Yeah. So now he's rethinking his play. So, it's because oh, he has another, he has another right one. Now. Yeah. Yeah. So if Dogstorm, Dogstorm attacks pops. Dogstorm Sorry. attacks for five. <laughs> Gobl uh, Gogo -Go actually has to take it. Not that Goblin has that information, but yeah. Um. So putting Kiku in life. Kid killer. That's pretty big. Kid killer pass. I was really surprised the dog didn't attack to kill the Hiori, but I guess the Hiori does nothing. Go board. Hiori doesn't really do much, uh, but I'm surprised. It's a, if I guess because we have perfect knowledge of hands, like Hiori right now seems like more of a threat because I could just give it Dawn and attack something. A lot of Dawn. Right? Sure, <laughs> but like it's not doing anything. His hand is literally just an L. Yeah. And, and, and something else. Funny enough, with Goblin not attacking. For seven there and getting him to one it now makes the did someone say kami card not free to play yeah. it costs a life that's true so that's i don't think that was intentional but that's pretty pretty cool did he draw that yeah he drew oh, that's pretty funny um so now gogo -Go essentially has to hard cast the nl instead going seven yeah Here's my Kikunojo. Eight, presumably at Karamatsu. You have to attack turtle. It looks like he. You want life? Yeah. Oh. Trigger yeah. that guy into play. <laughs> um. The Jiro, five mana, five dawn, down next, five mana, six thousand. Yeah, down two. If your opponent has three life cards, this character cannot be killed by effects of the permanent effect. Really big. Hmm. Very strong card, actually. If you're playing it for free, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's a fact. Um, I mean, this is just he has to be lucky, right? Nope, yeah, it's not lucky. Yeah, pitching Yamato, and then. Seven. Up. Uh, Up. Uh. Uh, can attack and then boom. Yep, that's it. That's all she wrote. Quite literally the opposite of time. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Goblin one. Goblin one. Goblin, red, yellow, Sabo. I was kind of cooking. I, I felt like I now couldn't get ahead and then just, he was getting all the. He had, like, I guess the list plays a lot more weight on play triggers. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's it. like um, Bello Betty in that regard where you just have so many guys that come out of your life. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Uh, But also, I think. I do think in every scenario, especially because he's probably getting a guy off of life, oh, that for sure. Goblin should not have attacked in the life he should have, or I'm sorry, um, Gogo shouldn't have attacked in life, should have attacked the Karamatsu, because um, effectively that would be getting rid of two attacks next turn, because since he attacked in life, he got another attack out of that, that Goblin did. So, um, yeah. Another exciting game, really cool gameplay. Hopefully you see Goblin continue to do well make top cut as X1, right? Uh, he, was he was two and one now. He was one and one now. Two and one. Goblin, yes. Yeah. Um, Three more rounds went out. Big top cut. Continue playing. It's a very sweet deck. Yeah, welcome, I do. Welcome back. back one piece players Ooh. and enjoyers, or <laughs> even first timers. Yeah, a lot of first timers here today, which is awesome. Really, yeah. really cool. So we're going to round four. Uh, it's going to be Brandon back on RP Luffy uh, against 
Who is he playing against? Evan. Evan, Evan. who is playing Gecko. Gecko Moria. Ooh. Seems uh, like a good, good, again, standard tier one deck. Gecko Moria against yes. our uh, Lone Ranger here. Not Power Ranger, but Lone Ranger. RP, RP, RP Luffy. RP Luffy. Yeah. It's next Kate Leader, man. It's weird saying RP Luffy. RP, RP and then L. L. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, it's very interesting, though, but we saw Brandon win uh, pretty convincingly against, uh, against Yamato. Yeah. Round one. So now we'll see how it goes against more of like a. No, that Yamato's not tried and true, but <clears> kind of like what we've seen is a lot of consistent tops. He's gotten a couple wins yep. in major tournaments. So we'll see how it goes this time around. See if it changes anything. Yep. He's again, he has to build his deck expecting to play these ma- like these major top tier decks. Exactly. Brandon can stay away from six K leaders, I guess. <laughs> he loves Wipeer, man. His we'll see. He's only won things with Wipeer, though. To be fair, mm. the only time he gets tops is with Wipeer. He has never told another leader. But yeah, six so K. We'll six K. <laughs> I still miss uh, the smoker, Brandon Corpus. Where he never won things? Yeah, me that too. That was my favorite, Brandon Corpus. Yeah, but he was a believer, though. He was a believer. He believed. I believe in things, too, and there are things that make me win. Yeah, and then he put the deck down, and then I stole my smoker. Yeah. I was like, when Brandon drops the deck, I'll drop the deck. Happened pretty quick. It, it did. <laughs> <laughs> and then I took a hiatus from Wendy's. All right, so Mulligan from Evan. Brandon probably is still in the tank. I just don't know all of his his fifty cards. Yeah, his fifty cards. I can, we can we knew about twenty ish. Yep. Yeah, we we can. We then, know sixteen of them. We can educate a guess like twelve more. <laughs> you you mentioned to me prior to this turn, prior to this round that oh he kept his hand. Brandon kept his hand. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. But you mentioned to me prior to this round that there's might be one round less, and only five rounds. There is only five yeah. rounds. So this so. is round four. So it'll be one more round after this prior to the top cut. Yep. Okay. And then we'll we'll cut to the top. So for someone at home that doesn't quite understand what that is, uh, is there any like a quick explanation of that? Of uh, why a we're stopping tournament? Yeah, yeah. yeah, of course. So, um, it again for Bandai uh, sponsored events, uh, they in the tournament rules manual, the TRM for short. Uh, there's a section where you are allowed when you announce the start of the rounds, you can announce variable rounds, so you can play until the listed number or until there's one undefeated. Uh, kind of happenstance, and more so, most people just kind of agree that you just play until there's one undefeated because at that point, when you have one undefeated, you have one clear winner, right? You have one undefeated and no one else undefeated. Mm-hmm. In the best of one game, there's no draws. So overall, it usually in no top cut for standard Bandai events, typically unless it's like a thousand players. Right. So that's kind of the reason why. I'll do that. For this event, you don't necessarily have to do that since it's not a Bandai sponsored event. However, again, most players are very used to this. Cut it to one undefeated and you play around it. Yep. Uh, Brennan playing Nami on one, getting the vanilla, vanilla. Sanji. For, that's purple, right? Yep. Yeah, I saw that. I, was like, I don't know what that is, but I saw off Nami. I was like, that's a straw hat. Yeah, it was, I think it's a 6 8. Big. Do you, does it bother anybody else that Brandon's Donner upside down? Yes. <laughs> That's also a does Dragon atta- Ball thing. Does he attach them once right side up? Well, Dragon Ball makes sense though because you keep cards, you you charge cards from your hand as energy face up. Mm-hmm. So you have to differentiate your characters, your battle cards in the board and in your energy. Sure. Area. So that that makes sense. Five. Um, this is the standard. This is the most standard white beard play. You play at one cost. Yep. Turn one. Turn two. You put three dot on it and attack. And then attack. Attack. This is the most standard. Five, six. Like he's, it's like he's playing that leader. You would never know the difference. <laughs> Except he's at four life instead of three life right now. That's the only difference. True. True, 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 true. God, speaking of Whitebeard, a new card got spoiled today. Oh, the, the ace? Right? No, it's an Atmos. An Atmos? I thought there was an ace, right? That, my, ace. that already got spoiled, oh, okay. yes. But the the Atmos, what's it do? Uh, it's four drop. Okay. Uh, I think it's four, six, zero counter. And when attacking, your leader cannot cause you to put life in your hand. So every turn, if you're going second, you are now a what? Uh, no, because you have to attack. So you're a four life leader with white beard now. If you play that card on curve, so four six, so it's pretty easy to deal with though. Yeah, but still really cool. Yeah, it's very cool. There's also an event card for one man that says you don't take life. That you can also play. Yeah, but that's pretty cool. Not necessarily. <laughs> Some major players have topped with that card. No. Yes. No. Yes. You just an Atmos believer. Something that really bothers. So what do you do? He played Hogback. Okay, put two back. Once he added back. Get back two K. Syndrome. I always want to say Stussy, even though it's not Stussy. No. I just see CP characters, and I immediately think Stussy, not Syndrome. So. 
you know what's another thing about this game that people do a lot, and I don't understand why, is with brand new, they flip, they reveal their cards to their opponent. When they, the card does not say reveal, it says look at, then discard. You're giving your opponent so much random free information. I know it's very not probably important to a lot of people, but it's very important to me to watch my opponent make a decision. Because it tells a lot versus the one second that they just discard the stuff. Well, you get to see all three cards eventually, right? Sure, but you're going to take a minute, roughly, to look at the three, make your own decision, then put you in the drop. Your opponent might not look at your discard. They might not have the same. You're giving them free time to like make the same decisions as you. Mm. Right? And so if you're taking the time deciding between two cards, you're pointing at things, you're looking at things, I get to try to guess what's in your hand more efficiently. Sure. Instead of you just doing it. Again, not a small, a very small thing for a lot of people. Probably don't care. But yeah, but me, in that, higher higher gameplay, that it, yeah, it, it makes all no matters. Sense to me. Because a lot of people just think, oh, they all see them anyway. I'm going to put a face up when that card does not say that. <laughs> okay. So I'm swinging for seven with Luffy. Uh, looks like Evan has not a lot of counter in his hand. Not a lot of counter, but two geckos. <laughs> two, two, two geckos, two great eruption. Two Sendry and a question for three Sendry? Three Sendry is lots of. It's doing, it's doing a lot of nothing. Bon. Bon. I wonder if Bon plays like a good addition to RP Luffy. Because like, everyone thinks RP Law, right? Because you don't play for free. Right. However, I wonder like the addition here. It feels I mean, really good. I mean, the card's broken. Yeah, the, I, I was going to say like it does. The card is just so good that like. Are you a deck that wants to ramp? Yeah, play it. Why not? Yep, um, and it has one of the most insane effects. It has a lot of outs to it, though, because it is. It might be a four cost character, but it's like a thousand. Yeah. Power. So honestly, could it could be zero power and still see play. But <laughs> oh yeah, I I, I don't disagree because its effect is the same. Well, zero and one K are the same, right? Um. Roughly for a lot of things. For for like ninety nine out of a hundred cards. Meta cards yeah. they play. Like a lot of red decks will play. You know, they'll they'll play Nico Robin, right? Mm -hmm. Which doesn't matter. Yeah. So, yeah, it's such an insane card. It's better Brandon than the alt RT. He likes to max ready his decks, but I guess he doesn't want more Nami's on the board. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got. We have, I... I've been thinking about his play. He's at about six dawn. See, yeah. It wasn't really a lot. I, I think he might cycle. Right? So he does yeah. get to Gecko on curve, but this six but he needs to get to, He needs to get to eight dawn comfortably. Yeah. He doesn't have, he's like a Siru, right? Uh, he has three 2Ks and a bunch of events. Three 2Ks, uh, two Great Eruption, two Gecko. Yeah, are you just Great Eruption to draw a card right now and just praying that you see something? Because, like, you need more, you need to see more things, right? Um, oh, he has a Saba. Oh, we're, uh, we're, we're cooking. I actually did not see that in his hand. Two, two more events. Yeah. This is not it, Chief. He's kind of keeping his composure, though. You know, so he doesn't really look like defeated too much. He's not really just like showing frustration, which is very good. His hand might not seem the best. Yeah, he he looks the same. He he, looks he always looks like he's not too happy, but not like distraught. That's kind of <laughs> ideal where you want to be, right? Yeah. Um, I think I would pitch two great eruptions here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Card isn't doing anything in this matchup right now for him. And then yep, attack for six. Give me a card. Bond clay, easy pass turn. So does Brandon get to go to nine this turn, or is he? Because he's at eight and then leader into yes, nine. I believe so. <clears throat> we haven't seen him draw a new gate yet, right? Does he I... play new gate? It's a question. Surely. I mean, I think maybe he, you don't need he it. Just drew like five K or five K, uh, like, five cost Luffy. Yeah. Do you need like new gate in this deck though? Like in his list, like right? Like I don't know. I mean, the card's insanely good, right? Mm -hmm. But is it needed? Because like. It might just get there. Doubt it. He's like playing Weenie Rush at the moment, moment, which is really good, right? Yeah. In the matchups, you have to play um, Gear Five, right? Like, there's I zero question. Really? No, you don't need to. That's like the whole. You're playing a six K leader that gets you, that fixes your curve. That's all it is. Mm. And it gives you two good color combinations. It lets you make certain decision points. Uh, red purple color combination is horrible. LOL. <laughs> you know, but I, I mean, not saying he doesn't play it, right? But like, he probably plays it if it's a one or two of it's not four of that card, right? You don't play yeah. it because, it, like, sure, it takes two slots, it's searchable. But I, I just don't see why you would, like, need it, you know? So going seven, so he has to pitch a 2k if he wants to save a Saba, which he does. He has plenty, of, as we know, Evan has a lot of 2ks in his hand. Yeah. Is that double Ice Age? Yeah, yeah his hand is, is not good. 
But again, keeping his composure. I would never know he has a bad hand. And honestly, his gecko play like doesn't seem good. Uh uh-uh, uh, not he, on curve right now. Like he, like he has a Luchi, I think, right? In his drop, that's about it. And like you can't neg stuff. He needs to be ten mana, ten dawn. Yeah, you have to be able to do like an Ice Age turn with your gecko to oof. Going aggressive. So are we attacking Sabo here? I didn't attack my father anymore, Sabo. Personally. Uh, 9k. 9k or 10, I would assume. I mean, he only has 2k's, you know? We never really noticed, right? Oh, I hate that. You should never reset the board. Everyone I... is the first time we move OPTCG, you do not reset your board like Brandon just did. Yeah, I also am it changes very games. against that. but Completely. Even though it seems very irrelevant to leave used on under characters, and when they do leave the board, they go back. I, it feels very makes sense why he does it, to clear the board, make it clean, but you should not do that. Hmm. It's I, telling. It is. Well, yeah, it lets your opponent know like what you did on the last turn. So. Yeah, exactly right. It changes a lot. I do. It's easy bonk like clear. I, I honestly I don't know what you do here. I truly don't As know. Evan? Yeah, because like, yeah. what are you gonna gecko? Like, what is you gonna gecko do nothing? Um, gecko hope you trash something. <laughs> you don't try. I was on my age gecko. Like, do you just play oh, oh, gecko? Oh, like. Oh. Like, you need to get a character, right? Like, you, your your board is kind of weak, like, unless you're going to attack, like, you either have to take two on the play, right? You're going to attack the Luffy. Like, your first decision point is, do you decide Gecko yes or no? I I don't feel very strong about playing Gecko right now. No. Your board kind of sucks. I kind of want a great eruption. I want to kill that Luffy. Luffy. The Luffy needs to go, right? And see what I draw. Yes, I, I agree with that. Because you need to get something. See, now you can see the signs of frustration. Okay. Like he has Hogback and two Sindri's, right? Like that's that's the big things for mm-hmm. his Gecko targets that he used to Gecko. You need Perona, you need something. And there, honestly, you need uh the wow, what is the the wolf dog dude? What are, Absalom. Absalom. You need Absalom right now. That would be insane. Yes. Um. Yeah, I think in a perfect play... world, you go Ice Age Gecko effect, pitch something, mill and Absalom, play it. Yeah, I, I, I actually don't think you Gecko. I think you try to like kill the board. I think you greater. He's gonna Gecko though. I I don't. I so, don't know if I'd make the play, but I don't I think it's the, wrong. The leader ability when I say gecko, but oh yeah, well that's what I mean. I when I'm saying this, I don't think I'd play this gecko. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what up, Garrett? Uh, but I don't know. I don't really feel like playing gecko might be the correct correct play. But he gets a mill with the Sindri, which is really big. There it's the Absalom, and then gives him a who's on for the next gecko. Yes, yeah, so it it feels his next turn. So as long as he feels like he doesn't die this upcoming turn, it's okay. But with the Luffy on the board, that he really has no way to. Is that two life? He's gonna get back Sindri. Sure, he's at two life. He doesn't feel comfortable, but like you're leaving him an unblockable character. Yeah, so and know. by gecko-ing, it, it, you can't do it's, any it. Like, it says that your opponent can't win it. You, you make basically an unclearable board, right? Your opponent has to deal with it, which feels very strong. And now he has a lot better numbers to attack the Luffy leader. He drew another five cost Luffy. Not counterable, which is good for. Evan. I don't know, it's tough. It was a very tough playoffs. I think like the was two decision point was like, do you try to not die, which is kill the Luffy on board, or do you try to win, which is playing a drop gecko, right? And he decided that he's like, I'm gonna try to win the game because I don't think I'm gonna die next turn. Because mm-hmm. he knows he's gonna get back Sindri with Hog like with Hog back with the play, right? Like he knows that's gonna happen. He's gonna refuel his drop with playing the Sindri on board because he had two. So But here's another situation where if like you put Brandon on gear five Luffy, do you just die? <laughs> <laughs> no. You go six, seven, gear five, Luffy. How do you go six, seven? Six with leader. Sure. Oh, not seven. I'm sorry. Six, six. Six, five? What the? You what, give him. What is his power? It's like, because he's only going to be at three dawn dude, the next turn, right? Like, sure, he goes back to. He will be at four because you. Or get two, then one. Yeah, so you go to zero. Get on one. your turn, get one, and then take your next turn. You go to three. Yes, and then and you then pay then, one and you have to a 10K, get another you just don't one. Block. Like he has a counter in his hand. No, 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 no. You go to you go to four because you you pay one to get one, and then you use the gear five Luffy effect. So you pay one. Oh, to you get, get one back. I forget. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I forget. See, that's the part. He gives you the dot. That's why you go to four. Yeah. Yes. These cards you don't see a lot. Oh. Even with four dollars, I don't think you die. Because you just block with Sabo the next turn. He can counter on two attacks here. You just don't if you're scared, right? If you're wholeheartedly scared. You 
club out of this too. Because you Can don't you? care. Yeah, it's like, is it absolutely the same or something? Is this, that's not a, is it right? Yeah, he has to take it. I can't see what the front card is. Gear here. 5, gear 5, gear 5. No, queen. Oh. But like, what was the top card? I couldn't see. Luchi, I think. Maybe. No, I don't think he plays gear 5, so. But now I feel really comfortable as Evan, right? You only have one life, but like, you can do a lot now. Sure. Um... You still have a blocker, right? Shanks. Interesting. What does that Shanks do? Kill a 12k power or less. Interesting. Um, or maybe it's a 10k power. Kills something. It killed big thing. So it kills Gecko. Yes, it absolutely kills Gecko. What if he plays that? But over? he played Sabo. No, he didn't. Just kidding. What happened? I thought he's unblockable. No, two dawn. Oh, two dawn. Okay. Yeah, it has to he be is two one, dawn. Yes. Might be chat. Might no, be. You're good. <laughs> yeah, he's two dawn. So it's a seven mana play. I just, I just always assume nah, like there's good, a dawn no? on him. Nah, you're good. It's a seven mana play. Okay, so worth noting, Corpus has enough cards to have Corona do things. Um, not that there's one in the discard, but. Oh, excuse me. How do you get the extra dawn? Hmm. Because he played this for five, no? How do you give this a Don, right? They're both five costs. I thought he had to have a Don. Oh, I thought he put a Don underneath of him. That's why. He just attacked for six. Six and just jump on. Got it. I mislooked it. I see. I misrepresent the Borsi because he takes everything back. So I'd never know either way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a bad habit to have. See, could he clear his board now with a gecko? Like, I feel like you having a greater option than a gecko than Ice Ages. Like, he drew a Perona, is that? Yeah, or Rebecca. It's either front or Rebecca. <laughs> like, I feel I feel here you... It's so tough not being in their, their head, but like you can kill like his whole board. You, by just playing gecko. You can, yeah. Um... Man, I'm just I'm just stuck on fun cards, I guess, because I'm like, yeah, but if you do that, you die to gear. <laughs> I don't I don't care if he has gear five Luffy. I think. <laughs> I think like I have to just assume that card is just not being played. It just does not exist. Well, if he also has no board. He plays gear five. He doesn't lose. So, he goes. Yeah, he would. If he, if Evan doesn't put a blocker and he goes for board, he loses because the uh, Corpus um, attacks for. Seven, That's big. and then um, takes his extra turn and attacks for ten, and then twelve. Are you hog backpack for Sindri? Why did you get hog backpack? Why did you not just get Corona? Oh. Why is Hina there? Hold up. Oh, okay. For those back, but what do you have in his hand? Did you just put his hand face up? No. Oh, trash. Okay, I was like, what? He did a lot of stuff. Felt very like out of order. Mm -hmm. But we got there. Gecko effect to put Hog back into play to put two cards on the bottom to get Perona in hand. Uh, this don't, like... This doesn't feel fully correct. It feels like you're not advancing your board state. Mm-hmm. There's a Sanji that we saw him get on yeah. turn one. Ten at Luffy. Yeah. And then... Five? Does he have another Sabo? Sabo don't do it, man. No. I think... Oh. Luchi. Oh, and then Luchi. Yep. Okay. All right. Cool. Very straightforward. Makes it nice and easy. Boop. Put three cards on the bottom. Double Ice Age. Sabo. Babo. Nice and easy. Ooh, excuse me. Cool. Gear 5, Gear 5. Wait, how does Gear 5 win in the game? I want you to tell me how Gear 5 wins in the game. I'll tell you. So he plays Gear 5. Yeah, tax for 6. Combo nope. out. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. <laughs> Minus 10 Dawn. Sure. Leader yep. ability. 
Gear hey, 5 ability. Get, get one back. Attach a Dawn to the leader, attack for 7. Get rid of 2 cards. Sure. Untap. Go to 4. Pay 1, go to 5. Irrelevant. Attach 4 Dawn on leader, attack for 10. Takes it. Sure, can you go to... Okay, sure. And then attack for 12. But he has two 2Ks in his hand, and mostly there's a 1K too. No? If he goes 7, 10, 12, I don't think he can live. Interesting. Well, he doesn't okay. play a card because the card's probably bad. <laughs> so it's irrelevant. If he had Bill's play, he plays like two of it. But 7, 10, 12 probably doesn't. Thank you. 7, 10, 12, you think? Two. Because you just take it. You go to zero, right? If you go to zero, you just play everything all that. So you have to come on this attack if you can. Mm. I wish we had Corpus's list. <laughs> Ooh. So, okay, it is just turn. Yeah, I, I still think he plays the card. Because you, there's no way you play Shakes and that, right? Right. Yeah, there's probably not a world where that happens. I mean, you, I'm you're just probably right, wishful. Though. You're probably right, though. You probably win if you do 7, 10, 12. Like, the more I think about it, the more, like, yeah, you probably, <laughs> no, numerically, like, two out of one. Right? Because yeah. he would have to do that, right? He has a two, he has a 2k combo. Yeah. You'd right. You'd be right. Queen, minus one, leader effect. That's something kills a two of us or a three of us? Two. Two, okay. So great eruption does Doesn't not kill queen. Yeah, yeah. by itself. Still waiting on the trash on queen. Zordura, yeah. Oop. Nami. Top five. So you can't play a five drop anymore. He's four dawn. Three dawn, and then if he leader abilities it goes to four, he could attack with Nami, I guess. Um, play another Bonclay. Yeah. But is he safe on the crackback? I don't think so. I mean, I think, I mean. You think Brandon dies on Evan's turn? I think Evan probably is a line to win. Hmm. I don't know what it is yet. I think it depends on the rest of his turn. I think it involves an Ice Age, which is at the bottom of his deck. <laughs> I think it's two. Or just, I mean, he drew a lot of his stuff, right? He, I mean, yeah. It involves a little bit of stuff. <laughs> Did I see your discard? Sure. Into... <laughs> I think uh, there's so many different things you can do right here. Nico Robin. So one K counter. One K okay. counter. Yep. Um. Also provides a play to kill like a Rebecca later, maybe. Sure. Um, yeah, that's fair. The Rebecca saw. I haven't seen one yet, but. Yep. Leader effect. Attach for Dawn. Attack for six. Um. He's tapped out. Right, let's say about five. Get the Verona, four in hand pass for turn. Brandon. I hate, hate. Yeah, I know. Me too. Four in hand, right for Brandon? Yes. Then we go to three for Evan. Uh, the blocker. Hina is potentially a really good draw. Like a really good draw. Hina, greater option kills that. Well, the question is, you would just attack for six first and see what happens. What with leader? With a hot oh. act. Or Lucci. Lucci, yeah. Just use attack. See if he blocks immediately. Because mm -hmm. then you have more down to play with, but he was an attack. But then you just becomes numbers, right? Yeah. So I I, I think he'll take it. You, you think get he'll a... take just a yep. six? I do. And then he can mess yeah. around with Hina plus leader ability to Yeah, this Hina plus leader ability puts you at what? Five. Five. Six on your four up, right? Yeah. It's so much committed. You have four up, and then you can go six, 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 ten. See, I, I don't like that. Yeah, I, I initially, it feels weird to do. 
and he's playing Great Eruption instead. You're, you're using George Dodd for things that don't do stuff, I think. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. He's, he's probably the next he play, plays a lot more than me. And he like just Gek wants to go for another Gecko play, so he, there's no way he, that... Does he have a Siru? Uchi, yeah. Helmet Bow. So he gets Nami and Queen. Safe play. Very safe. Um, but no blocker. Lose into a rush. Yeah, I was going to say... Two cards in hand. No good. combo. Right? You don't attack. You do not You do not give him cards. That just seems way incorrect. Yeah. Right? You don't attack? I agree. If you're going to attack, you attack first. Okay. okay, well now... Um, I'm snap taking this if I record for this foot. Oh, I just don't want... I wouldn't want to give him a rush card, right? Exactly. Don't give him any more chances to draw another Luffy of any like You're going to win next turn. Like, your board is so strong. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like it's so... Yeah, it's kill or be killed this turn rotation. Yeah, I don't... He, like, he... Corbis has lethal in his hand, though, but he, I don't... If he has a rusher. Yes. He had two cards in hand. You go seven. He has to take it, or he discards both cards. Like, this is such a telling play. Yep. Does he have a Luffy? It's a... For no <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Well, the question is, did he get off his life? The question is, did he draw that card off his life, or did he have it? Oh uh, well, he has two more in hand, so uh, Brandon Corpus wins. <laughs> and now he's like, oh my god, I was so close. Yeah. Or, I just, the question is, like, did he get the Frankie off life? Well, he had three, three Frankie in hand. So he had three in hand. Yeah, I didn't see. Oh, then never mind. When he when he dropped his hand, there is one in play and two in hand. Uh, but playing like the last round, like he cleared his board, but like you know, like you're not gonna. You have to have a blocker, right? Because you lose some rushes. Yeah. So I don't I don't know. I feel like you have to have like played But I also just saw a Corpus have in his hand Diablo Jambe. <laughs> sure, that's still like four plus two is six. Six. You would supposed to give two Dawn. It's eight. So that's eight Dawn for a six K. Gets out by a two K. Mm. Right? So you could have made it a seven K. It would be tough. Like I still like think like you need to have had a blocker. You always block the first attack. Like regardless. You're never gonna <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to our fifth and final oh, round. Yeah, we got we have a bonus guest, Garrett Farrington here, joining us for the last round for the Brandon show, since Brandon is back on stream with his RP Luffy deck, which is kind of taken over this event by Storm. Really, really Pretty sweet. Cool. Really cool. What do you think about Garrett? I mean, Brandon's uh, no stranger to 6K leaders. <laughs> he has, that's that's literally what he I has the 6K leader in Chad. I, I, there he is. There's the man of the hour, man of the day, maybe. But... Uh, <laughs> That's just kind of how it goes for Brandon. He plays 6K leaders. He likes to get that intrinsic value that a 6K leader brings to the game. And he makes his money doing that. I mean, right. There's really not much to say about yeah. it. I mean, you really curve out well. Uh, the, he picks his going first or second for your nine beard. Right. Yep. And the four drop um, Bon Clay. Bon Clay is just so good and gives gives this deck something it really needed in a swinger and a ramper at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. He deals with a lot of things. Then we have Michael back again on Raju. He won earlier in one of the early rounds against NL, um, if I remember correctly. NL in overtime. In overtime. Yep. Um, just a yep. lesson for everyone: if you are in overtime, swing quickly. <laughs> or just yeah, remember that there's 30 minutes too. in the round, and you time starts as soon as this timer starts. Yeah. And so don't start. Uh, just remember that. Don't need to wait. McCormick's opponent went a little too hard in the tank and uh, ended up. Not being able to get the five, five, five life. life. Yeah. He's out. Go 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 go. Uh, uh, anyway, I think yeah. I think he just realized. He, he just realized. realized. He just realized. Yeah, he's at four. <laughs> 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 Brandon's not letting that fly. <laughs> it's all good. Um, it's hopefully Mike remembers his uh rage triggers this time. Yes. Once again, uh, new to the game, not new to card games. Um, so the fact that he is. Undefeated? Very new to or One Piece. Is he oh. undefeated right now, right? He is, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, he was telling me earlier that uh, even though he's undefeated, he still doesn't feel super confident. He was just able to 
get paired against matchups that he's comfortable with. Yeah. Um. He, so he's learning the deck well. Like I think decks because it comes from Yu-Gi-Oh. Decks always like, seem to do really well. Players do well with um. You played things that have, like Dredge or like things that manipulate yeah. like, drop. So a lot of players like like Gecko or Raju because they have a lot of actions per turn. You're doing you're manipul- manipulating a lot of things, so it kind of mimics that idea rather than some of the more straightforward things. Yeah. Um, but McCormick comes from Yu-Gi-Oh, and so everyone's like telling him the Raju deck is just tier limits. Uh, for... Kind of see it. <laughs> All right, so we got Brandon played Nami, added uh, Zoro Jiro, a quick update, and then he passed back to the first two things. Going eight, I love it. No stage yet though. That's really big. That's like really, really, yeah. really big that he does not have stage. So because both both times he was on, or no, he, well, McCormick on has only been on one. So yeah, and he, 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 he has stage turn one, which is very important. Mm-hmm. So not having Sage, not having the Searchers. His hand seems okay. He's got no, you know, some some of the baby Power Rangers, but one maybe he has one big uh, Niji. Yeah, the blue. The yep. blue Ranger. Double Queen. Sure. So the ramp. Speak of Bon Clay. Yeah, Brandon just feels very. I, I don't know. Right, right. Looking at his hand, looking at Rachel's hand and the board, it, just having Bon Clay is very strong. But mm-hmm. I don't really, don't really know what to anticipate next from the Ragey player. I think he's just going to play Queen. Okay, I think unless he draws stage, that's it. Yeah. Oh, Brandon put it back as Dawn again. This is the most triggering thing for me. Yeah, he does that every I time. I hate it. Make I it literally cleaner. hate it. I hate it. Nope. See, he's gonna play. He drew another queen. He have to play queen. I think. Right. Like, there's nothing. He has three queen now. Yeah. Uh, two. I think he he had two. Last really? Turn. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's even worse. Oh, there is a third one. There's there. a third queen. There's... <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> he he did ha- draw a queen. He has to play queen. He gets the free bonus draw off the raging leader. So. Hmm. So draw two, discard one, draw one. Yep. Uh, and then pass. And here's where I think McCormick is going to struggle a little bit because I think he desperately wants to attack with his leader every turn. Um, because he's like new to the game and he feels like it's just the not right effi- yeah, it's not efficient to not do right. Yeah, it's because it, it's a free attack. You're not committing much. Um, so he might play differently just because he wants that one dawn on leader to be able to swing. Um, if you're going one down, you're, you're going all five. I don't I don't see a world where you're just playing a small guy because it's going to die to something. Yeah, I'm but, again, I'm not saying that this is correct, but I can also see McCormick going the baby uh, Red Ranger. Yep, attack for six, baby oh, Red Ranger, so minus bad. one from hand to play big Red Ranger, attack for seven. I like the queen play more, though, I think. Cause I think oh, for you, sure. need you need a cycle. For you need sure. to see your drop, dude. You need to see stage. Like, this play is good if you have stage. Like, and Queen puts cards on your discard. Like, yeah, you need things for your drop. Feel bad. This, like, yep, you're it, right with your play. Like, 100% correct with your decision, Ryan. The way you did, this just does not feel correct. Yeah. This feels like a Yu-Gi-Oh play, though. Where you play <laughs> a guy, you pop something, you play from your hand. Um, yeah, I, I think the... We'll see how it goes. He's putting pressure on yeah, But if, it, if this was a 5k leader, this play would be so much better. But since it's a 6k, this gets, it's eaten by a 2k. I also think that this play gets worse because Bond Bond Clay, Yeah, and now you have to defend <laughs> it. And you're like... I don't know. I, I think his hand isn't the best, but I think is it, he's not playing to his outs. He's playing to an aggressive start. <laughs> he's showing, showing us his hand. I don't think he's happy with his hand. I wouldn't no. be happy either. But, but the way to get happier about it is by playing that queen. <laughs> <laughs> he's like twitching because Brandon's thinking. He's in the tank. Think he's yeah. a tank slave or not? He's gonna be in for a treat with this. Very right. intrigued that he's Corpus going to one. I think Brandon's baiting. I think he's trying to say he plays. He's playing like white beard, dude. Yeah, he's what like he does. Like I mean, that's like the standard white beard. Like you, white beard player, like at heart, you know, Garrett, like. You draw as many cards you can, then you just sit. You wait on zero life. And yeah. so you don't have it. And I think he wants this guy to start already thinking that he has no combo in it. He just saw how he played. He played super aggressive. He made a he made like a really strange play, theoretically. Mm-hmm. I can see that. You're playing the player, not the game. Right? Sure. But uh, funny enough for Corpus, it doesn't work as well against Michael McCormick because it's not like he knows what to do. <laughs> yeah, it's not like he's like, oh, red, purple, Luffy. Uh, is kind he's of like, light on counter. McCormick's like, oh, this is he has a bunch of cards in hand. You know, it is, it, you're you're right. It is like it is that you're like, you know what? I don't think I don't know what purple. If he played Gear Five, he wouldn't even know that the card that existed. A hundred percent does not know. Because <laughs> you card get to does. take another turn. Has Brand played that on stream yet? No, I, we don't yeah, know, we know what he has in list. list. I don't know that it he plays ten drop Shanks. We don't think it is. Yeah. <laughs> he does play Big Boy Shanks 
And there's the first time we've seen Kit, despite Corpus being on screen three times. He played Kit. Right? He played Kit, yo. Do you play one of those rounds? Yep. Okay. So he discarded. What did he counter out with? Two cards? No, there's one for the bottom card. There's these two, no? Yeah. They attacked with the Luffy, right? He's doing the Luffy now. Because he got the boost off the kid first. Mm -hmm. So what did he discard the two cards? Bonclay's what? Just. It, it gains the power. Bonclay bon wins what, seven what? on leader. Yeah. Then oh, on leader, not the ECG. Not then, the yeah. ECG. Yeah. Yes, yes. And then two and one. Yeah. He's leading the ECG debate, like we just talked about. Mm hmm. I thought he attacked the Ichiji because they pointed at it, but it was pointing because he picked the attack. That's why. I was like, I was like why did you just correct two? Yeah. Figured it out. If I was Brandon, I might have with that Bond Clay went into the rest of I would kill the... I think Brandon's trying to make him think he can do stuff. Yeah, I think Brandon's playing like a mind game because otherwise, I'd rather get cards out of this guy's hand right now, but I guess you're... You know he has rage you probably because he hasn't done anything all game, so you know he. Would I would rage you last turn, bro. That's it. Like you know he doesn't. You know you know I would assume he didn't have rage you because he made a really weird play last turn, right? Because you would have played rage you just draw cards, mm. right? You could, well you don't have you have too big of a hand. Yeah, he didn't have the hand size. Yeah. Know. Okay, so it looks like he's McCormick isn't going to get baited into trying to kill him this turn. It's like That's five good. five and a bonk play, and then. Eight and seven. So get a get a two K, and then play queen. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. To draw your card off. Your let's, let's hope he plays the queen. <laughs> <laughs> He's got three of them. I think it's... Brandon not killing the ECG last turn is really big though. Yeah, I think ECG dies this turn. You know what though? The guy only has two life. Maybe you do just pressure him down. Draw two, pitch one. He finally, finally got stage, finally. but he can't even play it. <laughs> Honestly, I think pitch I would stage. discard it. <laughs> yeah, that's not wrong. And then draw. But, yep. Because like you're about what five dog, right? I tell you what, that pudding Four. is there a five, pudding yeah. in hand? Yes. So er, um, I think it's the that blue what card. Is, Kaya. Is that Kaya? Altar Kaya. Okay. Okay. I, think. So I would assume it's Kaya. Pudding. That's kind of interesting. I don't know what Brand's hand size is because he tries to keep it so small. He plays like six or seven cards, maybe six cards. He could have eight cards in hand. And it looks like it's stacked up. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like because it's also a double sleeve too. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. Hmm. It's very, very, very interesting. Oh, oh there's, there's the new guy. Oh, he has to do oh, leader yeah. ability first, and then, yeah. You have to leave the player. So, <laughs> McCormick holding it, because he's just like, yeah. this was probably expensive. Like, <laughs> But meanwhile, he probably, like, just, like, he probably like, shovels really quick for his, like, all of his, like, hand traps are expensive as crap. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Um, I mean, I'd bridge that deck, though. Hey, that's so how like... everyone should hold Whitebeard. <laughs> I'm, I'm good for it. <laughs> <Yeah>. Gently <laughs> caress. <laughs> Um, okay, it uses attacks, does a thing, plays white beard, attacks with kid. Yeah, it, it is unfortunate that McCormick is reading white beard for the first time. He's like, this does what? <laughs> that, that, that's just a legit 9k Luffy, though, for a turn. Yep. That is that is a problem. That That's a time walk. Yeah, why why do you need a place to drop Luffy when you play yeah. that? <laughs> if you have some drop kid and night beard, yeah. Good. 10 drop Luffy's just fun. Yep, so Kaya, and then the other, it's a 2k, um, I forget her name. It's a name, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a 2K. So she, I thought she put their name. Is that Young Suru? Yeah, it is Young Suru, right? No, <clears throat> uh, there there is another Young Suru, but I think that that's like a um like a f uh movie only Navy Admiral lady. Um So what is this the the 9K attack now? No, oh, what's going on? Yeah, I think he, he went seven. Nine. He discarded two two Ks. Well, what came down here? Why? Why are Don tap? Nine beard. Nine beard. He hasn't passed yet. Oh, it's still, okay. it's still Brandon's turn. This is just a long thought. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Gonna take. Okay. Block. Just let it go. Just yeah. let it. Draw. Makes me sad to see people give like three cards to save the queen there. Long live the queen. Okay, so Drew, Baby Blue. Another problem on this turn is, like, attack-wise, the only thing that makes sense <clears throat> to swing into is the kid because Luffy's bigger. 
Yes. Yep. So really, he should just go about trying to set himself up for the next turn. Yep. Whatever that looks like. Yep. Four, six, nine. So seven, nine. Play stage. Look for Big Red Ranger. Play Baby Red. Put Big Red Ranger in a play with Baby Red. Minus two K on Kid. Attack it with Leader. And then do that. Both Big Reds. Yeah. Yep, I think that's a lot of play he has to go for. If it doesn't pan out, you play another kid. You play queen. Discard baby blue. There's big red. Yep, there you go. And Brandon, he's like, yep. Show yeah, enough. That just makes the most sense now. Yeah, but this also feels so bad. It's like yeah. I'm clairvoyant. But it's also at the same time, you're just hindering your hand so much. Yeah. Like, I almost wonder if he had to play the queen. Oh, we got another queen. Yeah. <laughs> green. He's Wait, gonna I cut don't... that card after this. It's funny because he borrowed it today. He yeah. got four this morning to borrow <laughs> and added it to his deck. I mean, but you killed the kid though. Like I, I feel like that kid's not dying, right? It's so much. See, I think that's a mistake. I don't think attack you attack with leader first. You attack with a five. First. Yep. Well, it's seven. Yeah. It, so it, you it, minus it two. Minus, it minus two. Yeah. So it's a six k. It, so leader would have to be it's down. It's a. Down. It's a seven. It's a seven. power. No, it's an eight. Is it? It's an 8k. It's 7-8. That's, that's the kit. Oh, never mind. It would have to be downed up. I thought it was a 7k this whole time. Uh, yeah, same. I'm pretty sure it's not. Nope. Wrong one. Wrong one. It's never cost. Oh. Mark's like, plot twist is 6. <laughs> that is most of the time the better kid, though. Yeah. Eustace, Captain Kid. Well, it's against our next one. Seven, yeah, seven, oh, this one. Huh. Well. Yeah, that's right. We're on. This is why I don't play. And then this line of play allows him to two dawn and attack lead once to get the Sanji out of his hand. Cool. Okay. Um, still scary. A little bit scary for McCormick because of how much rush brandon has in his deck purple loopy would just kind of win right now <laughs> i've been saying that every <laughs> single time that brandon is at a ten it, literally, like, literally. I, I literally would yeah. not get off that card i was like i don't understand you know what would be great here <laughs> have you guys seen him play the shanks no but he, he just discarded it. it yeah still haven't seen him cast any ten draw cards it's searchable yeah that's what the, the gear five yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very intrigued though. Like, even if it's incorrect, there's no way I've never. I still don't think you don't one. attack. Yeah. I actually still don't. I still don't think attacking with this guy was wrong. I think I would have went six at six at six. Because then you have one less rested. Um. Yeah. You're trying to keep him around. You're saying yes. Because he has no out. Because Wiper can kill one, and so can Luffy. You know, it makes it harder to deal, and he doesn't have the card. He doesn't have the card advantage to deal with it, in hand. Of course, like I don't know. You know, that's I think I think that's why because like because the one card out of hand probably would have came from this anyway maybe I don't know if the Sanji's that big of a deal. How could it come from the Raichu? If he donned it, if he donned one here, six six to six, get a card that way, and then yeah, and then yeah 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 yeah. yeah. (laughs) I think I agree with that. But if he does that, that means none of those guys are swinging. Because if he just lets the kid go... He would pass. And then he has two 7k attackers on his fault for the crackback turn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. And then you have one Don up to buff something. I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to think of like how I'm winning this game is Reiju, right? Because right now, I, I feel like Brandon has... Brandon has a wipe here that can attack these. Like, your Reiju, your HGs are super susceptible. Yeah, when you see Brandon's left hand up like that, that means he's just thinking, do I just already win? Yeah, he's, he's literally thinking like, that's oh, how do what I... he's doing right He's now. mathing his cards in hand. I played Brandon enough to know. I think we see another new gate here. Brandon loves the tank. He loves being in the tank. He's not a slow player, he just plays slow. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know we had you to roll, <laughs> roll legends. Thank you. I only man. hire the best here, bro. What do you mean? You're paying me in water. I love it. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, it's like, they know we have little. Keep the water fed. We're all just here, man, trying to have a good time for our local store. 
So we got some local legends here playing this game, dude. That's all that matters. One Red okay. Ranger yeah. guy. See, that's the, I think like you just say you attack my life instead because that feels so much worse for Brandon if he can't win. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How so? But also, does McCormick have? How much dawn is McCormick untapping with? Eight. Eight. So he can judge. He minus one seven. So are you with that six? He should be going eight. Eight. eight seven or eight. I know he doesn't have judge, but well, you're hopeful for things at this point. Yeah. Judge doesn't win in the game though. No, he probably loses on the crackback to the He's judge. Got five in here. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I think trying to keep the EGGs alive is the play, man. Like, I, the more I think about it, the more it's like how I'm winning this game. I agree. And you definitely made a case for it. Yikes. Yeah. He's, he... Alright. You have to. Like, this yeah. is the position you're in, right? Like, you're not winning the game with three queens. I think the only card he probably knows that's in Brandon's deck is that I'm walk up, uh, it's walk not with queen. I don't even think he knows that card. I'm serious. Oh, wow. So... Eight? This is how you know Brandon's hand is nothing but two case. <laughs> you discard. You committed his wife. You oh wife. Okay, I thought that was the That seems beyond incorrect, right? Uh, I don't know, man. Brandon right. thinks he's got two luck. Maybe a couple rat pins. This is stream, bro. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> True. <laughs> don don. All right. He, do you draw uh, a judge? He has. He has. He hasn't drawn for turn yet. He did. Did he? Raid you. Uh, he did. I thought that was for life. Nah. Uh, he drew for him. Okay. Did judge. you judge? He did judge. Brandon looks pissed. <laughs> but again, I don't think that wins in the game. I mean, unless these rage you draws are amazing. Right, I agree. Brandon's going to have to stop in those non-bat, dude. I'm going to start giving warnings. I'm going to judge for this event. OPO8, Why an OPO8? What's an OPO8? I don't remember. I mean, Which he should stop it now, but. <laughs> Are there participation packs for one of these? No. Yeah. No. We paid for <laughs> We took it. Oh. What's going on here? McCormick. Eight Dawn. No, I don't think uh, that's Brandon Baiting. I don't think Eight Dawn's the right move. I don't know that. That's the 13. Dragon. Radbeam, Radbeam. Move attached on. Sure. I mean, Brandon needs to stop it like today, regardless. It's today. <laughs> it doesn't change that. <laughs> he's like, dude, I want to do it so bad. Uh, he's he's tweaking. If, if I'm a Cormac, I'm slapping I promise eight you Brandon dawn. has it. Yeah, but I he doesn't know that. Though. Yeah, I'm slapping eight dawn on it. He's, he's like, oh, what do I do? Brandon was not able to play another new gate or rush or last What can he do? Here's the phenomenal. thing. I don't think there's any. He yep. Oh. Go for it. He, Jam he, it. He has combo. That's all he has. Yeah, there's one rat beam. There's the other rat beam. Oh, and now my here's God. another he one. 14. It. He's like, what the fuck does this card do? Yeah. <laughs> oh. He's like, oh, he's got bodied. Yeah. Oh. He's like, oh, I lost. Okay. <laughs> he's like, yeah. Oh, no. But here's the thing. I don't think that there could have been any play that McCormick. <laughs> Like that gives McCormick another turn, anyways. I think going six, getting a card out is fine, and then playing queen. Yeah, I would have played queen. It made him how to have it out. And then you're you have a blocker, and you still get to get rid of your dead card in hand and get one card. Because Brandon's not doing anything either. You're going eleven and sixteen here. He has three cards in hand. There's no world. Like sure. his hand was obviously combo. He swung eight k with a Nami, without Machino boost. I mean. Got him. Let's not say that. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> but... He's... He's about Whoa! Like, he almost didn't have it. He almost didn't have it, to be honest with you. I'm I'm telling you, I'm what making Brandon have... Three shanks? What is this deck list, Brandon? I'm making Brandon have it there... I even he almost, even though McCormick lost, I stand by that play. I'm committed to it. Well, if he plays the queen, he actually survives the turn. Yeah. He had Jambe, Jambe, Jambe. To give his leader, he blocks yeah. the first attack. But he would block. He blocked the, the first attack the, always. You don't beat. He blocked the first attack because, because McCormick doesn't know that card. Yeah, but this so maybe but anyway, he doesn't. He blocked the first attack. 
Alrighty, guys. They Back up. <laughs> elected to play it out. Yeah, top eight. Playing it out. We got first round top eight. We got Whitebeard. Garrett's tried and true decks. We have the best person to tell us what's mm -hmm. in the mind of Whitebeard himself. True. I've never lost then, a Rage. You've never <laughs> lost a Rage. Okay, well. Interesting and, that there's two Rages reason, in Topka. At the first is regional, I played three. So. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Would you place in the regional? Not good. Like, yeah. But but did you buy, but question, did you beat every Rage? I beat every Rage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you want to go for in this matchup as Whitebeard going to Rage? Since, like, I don't really know what you want to against Whitebeard, but we just saw Rage versus Dude, honestly, Sissi. just an honest curve out is good. Make sure you have your ace for when they turn things sideways to clear a board, and you're just chilling. The only thing that's bad for you is Judge, but if, you, has can, if you can force them down before that, it doesn't even matter. Like, if you Judge, you probably lost the game. So that seems reasonable. Right? I, I get yeah. that. So, like, I think uh, that makes a lot of sense. If you're judging, you're going to be passing the turn, and you're not really going to get too much out of it, right? Whereas, whereas, like, Whitebeard just gets to like, all this curve out. And, like, the difference between Whitebeard and, like, RPU, Luffy, we just saw Brandon play this matchup, like, Ace is going to be a huge factor, too, right? Like, Ace is, like, swing turn, especially if they go, like, the Ichijis, like, yeah. the Red Power Ranger against them. He would have been able to, cut, like, knock out all of them easily. Much easier. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, I anticipate very similar to, like, what... Uh, yep, what there's the Ace already. Yeah, this feels so... I feel like yeah. that's like, what we want to see, right? And then next turn, he's going to swing five with that Ezo and six with the white beard. You're getting at least a card in a life right there. You should. Should yeah. do that. <laughs> Any ideas? Not Kaya? Sage. Oh, Second Kaya? best. Yeah, but Kaya's sick. I drew, uh, drew the effect. I uh, drew the event for it. Mm -hmm. Can the event search Sage or does that search character? It can search Sage. Did you play it? It can search anything, right? <laughs> it searches anything. Yeah, you yeah. card, I believe. I was making sure. I, there it is. Yep. And. There's pretend that we're thinking I, would, I mean you're thinking you kind of memorize where you're bottom decking right like there's a world if you if you like have three you discard a rage you like let's say you have like three babies in there and no one in your hand like do you take it over stage that's a decision point right no, yes you this top eight i i agree garrett i agree oh. with you at the end of the day you take stage but like the decision making thought right is like if i have three babies here and they're all about to go to the bottom deck i'm never gonna get it mm. is that a thought right because then if i have my plan is to judge this game you immediately lose them you're never gonna get there it's fair. But 99, it does take out the stage. 99 out of 100 times I'm playing stage. Don't yeah. get me wrong. But there is a decision point. Uh, yes, throw access is top eight. I said that all the time. <laughs> you said it prior to top eight. Um, and exactly like, like Garrett said, going five and then six. Oh, two cards, even better. Not taking a lot. I, this is a rage you turn then. Mm -hmm. It has to be now. Otherwise, you just gave up to me. I have not seen Frenosuke in Raju decks. Gets, Gets rid, rid of the judge. judge. Probably means he plays two or three. He knows he can get one later now that he has stage. Yep. Out. Reasonable. I mean, he just dug through two, five, eight cards. Pretty good so and far. He's discard. He he's he's cooking. This is what you want to see as like Sakazuki so, and Gecko, dude. Ten cards. It's like you play a Sundry. Kaya's two. Maybe uh, Niji, right? Maybe Niji. Oh, it gets the bottom of the Ezo. Sure. Pretty good. I guess I draw a card off of Reju. And then attack five. <laughs> yep. And moving on. Bro, I think I would always attack five as a meme to see if they discard a card. 100%. It's completely legal. 100%. <laughs> You couldn't catch Garrett with that, but, you know, maybe someone else. I would, I would just stare at the person. <laughs> My turn? <laughs> Bet. Yeah. Let's go back to play the player. I mean, I had a job. I was stream judging at regionals where they got played New Gate, gave his leader 2k, so it was 8k for the turn. Then passed her, his opponent was attacking 6k at 6k, and he was comboing out of it, knowing he was at 8k. And I was in the, I was all legal plays. I just watched yeah. it happen. So Marco. I guess we don't have the Luffy here. Yeah. Playing the Marco to pop up. Probably relevant Kaya. Yep. Never doing. So anything. honestly, I don't like the Marco. I, I would have made sure I take a life this turn because he's not really pressuring. This Rage has four card, four life. I mean, mm -hmm. they have a full hand. They have stage out, and they're just they're now starting to do the stuff. Yeah, yeah. they're now starting to get there. The they, and, you and you haven't and you haven't grabbed any advantage yet. 
I think I'm not sure, but there's a blocker Marco in his hand. There's a searcher. I feel like those might have been better than play the Marco, right? Yeah, swing seven into five and then play the blocker. I like that more. Yeah. Or even the Nami, he just comboed out with. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, you could have played Marker. You could have played Marco Blocker and that. It does the same thing, right? Because yeah. you're fine. Like, yes, the sixes are good off the Marco. But like you said, killing Kai is not doing anything. They're, they're going to kill itself when he plays Judge. Yeah, I don't, I don't love that Marco play. It's too passive. And just Rage is still being at four life. It's just scary. Because now you're at the tipping point. Now they just have infinite 2Ks. They're going to have 2Ks for the rest of the game. Though. Speaking of 2Ks. Yeah. It's the mob. And, and he has a hand. And a hand will never go away now. Yeah. <laughs> also, he uh, has, what, 4 down? He doesn't even minus that much down. Mm -hmm. like he's he's kind of chilling. Yeah, he's minus 2 down so far. One off of each, right? Yeah. Um. No, just 2 down. Just he's minus, he's only minus one down actually off of that's the baby. what i'm saying yeah just one for blue because he just he, he hard played hard, the yeah let's go to six and marco needs to go at life yeah dude 2k okay, okay. is he yeah he's playing ace dude there, there's no way he's yeah, gonna play eight, play eight. seven like there is zero percent chance ace. I like already getting that 2k out. Six nope. in the character. I still would have won that line. Oh, you I don't really life. care about that 6k swing. Yeah. You're not losing next turn. And it's not like putting in the guard does a whole lot against that deck. Like... <laughs> and first life. Pass turn, one life. One life for a white beard man. So interestingly enough, and correct me if I'm wrong, this is when Whitebeard also starts whitebearding, right? Like his your well, yeah, one, one, one life, zero life, one life. But yeah. usually, you feel like you're in a like slightly better spot. Like I don't think he feels bad. I don't think David feels like he's in a bad spot right now. But it doesn't like watching this game. I don't feel like Rage is in a bad spot at all. Like if he has Rad Beams, I don't even know if I would play New Gate next turn. I'd try to get another Ace down probably because we're about to see Rage lose some stuff. I imagine. Mm. Yeah, I'd rather have more force immediately because right you got now. six dot now right so like the rage of player yeah. yeah so if he minuses any or seven dot seven that's how that looks that's how they see okay. they're so healthy right so now. he go if he goes to seven now right so like next turn you can minus one down the turn to still play judge next turn he has it mm -hmm. is that a judge on the far left in this game <laughs> yo real quick nope okay pudding pudding oh, oh fuck. <laughs> that's good he won the game. Yeah. <laughs> he just cooked him. Dang. And that's why I would have been comboing out early as well against Reiju. That's what I did at Ver the versus group. I want to know how many cards that got him down. At least two, or at least three, right? Three or four. And he was smart to wait till right now because almost all life has been taken. So yeah. he's only going to get one more card. So he's going to go five, six, seven, and that's if he doesn't combo at all this turn. Mm. Huge. Yeah. Bigly huge. That. I wanted to ask though, Ryan. Nice. I don't know if you know this, mm. but overseas in the championship today, Dofi got fourth place in Malaysia. Yeah, I do know this. Well, was... POA, <laughs> Dofi's coming back. Is Dude. it coming back for you? It, absolutely. Uh, set seven, not even eight, seven. I am a one-trick pony for quite a while. <laughs> like, Love I'll it. I'll play Boa um yep. here and there just for fun because like you know waifu yada yada. Perfect. But like if I'm trying and I'm playing games and I'm grinding games, it's with Dofi. Dofi. For all of set seven and to set eight, it looks combos, super fun. He combos out, goes to four cards in hand. Yeah, I, I mean, he do you think be, he drew Newgate? And that's why he's comboing. That'd be the only way. because you have to combo, right? Well, actually, I mean, why you have to have drawn Newgate? Because also you're giving no cards, right? Because you just take the life anyway. It looks like Nico Robin is the front card. Is that maybe, but there's no reason you don't you take you, see that see, combo. Why would you combo? Then why would you combo? He like that's why you comboing one card means you committed to combo three immediately, right? Like. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't see a way for David to get out of this. And he discarded a combo, like a blocker, right? Right, you said three mm -hmm. life. Like... Brother, he didn't even minus a Don last turn. He's going, to, he's going to nine. If he doesn't play a blocker, you just you can just go, like, 15 and feel confident, I think. Because he, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just so bad. Unfortunately, like, and it still comes back to that five drop play for me. 
Yeah, that Marco's dead. Yeah. You let that, that Raju's dead. You cannot protect it over anything else he does. You're going to commit to discarding like five cards, your whole hand. Which you're not going to do, you let it go. Yep. That means we also don't have another ace. Yep. So. He has what, five in hand, right? He's Drew for. You took a life, he's at four. He's at Drew for he's at six in hand. Yeah, no matter what, we're baiting Rad Beam, so if you have the new gate, you are not swinging seven with this Marco. Discarding the Marco blocker is very weird, right? It, it means he, to me, it means he has another one, or he wasn't going to play it this turn. There we go. Six out wide. Get rid of the two K. Get rid of the mob that you added to your hand. Yep. He could get greedy. I don't even mind. I don't. I don't think getting greedy is the play. I don't know that he has the mob still. I thought he got rid of it. Oh, he might have. Yeah, he did. So see, I don't like that. I would have got greedy. Two cards instead of gaining one. I never like nine. That. You take that. Uh, just oh, he was only at nine, Don. So he has five in his hand. Five card hand. Eight well, wait, how's he at nine too? Then I think both at nine. Because he minus one early on. He's only minus one down this whole game. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so hypothetically, if he just goes 14, 14, he should totally go 14, by the way. This is the opposite of the what I was saying to do during the RP Luffy game. Because he had two. Yep, yeah. This is where Ryan was totally right. No, nope. Why are we doing this? Oh, uh, now he's doing down math, okay. Still don't know what's happening. Uh, is he playing him on? Oh, playing Kaya? Kaya for... What are you drawing? A 2k, too? What are you trying to... Judge? Like, he has just... a judge in his hand, no? Are you just beating... Hmm. Baiting Raju, too, at that? Wow. And he's playing judge. I think he could have just won the game. Yeah, just... But do does he have to pitch those two cards now? Because he's playing judge? Mm-hmm. Unless he's playing it as a vanilla. Uh, okay. Um, There's mom and a uh, big pack. Did David just win? I don't think so. Yeah. Two life as well. He has no cards in his hand. He's well, I guess he gets. He's about to draw a three. three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rage you're doing rage you things. <laughs> Very interesting. It. I don't disagree. I don't like that play. I think you are. Because, like, math wise, maybe at 14. Right, so you get to do. He has that five cards. He just. Hit? He would have to have three two Ks and oh, a one K. A bad manners, right? Yeah, I can't do that. Bad, bad manners and two two Ks. Like, anyways, it rolls a lot. Like, that's four. That means four of your five. And those cards weren't sculpted either. Those were hard random that's cards. What I mean. Minus with that, yeah. big red. Don't save it. It's just dying anyway. Oh, you're bringing it back. At the, that's a six k. Understand. So he got True. rid of the debuff. Yep. By allowing it to die and bring it back. You attack for a seven now. Though. And there he did have the bad manners, by the mm -hmm. way. So. But we still need like. So much. Yeah. Three six nine. That is act fine. <laughs> Gosh. I I oh, dude. I think that was a play for this commentator booth right now, man. We we would have went in. I think math worked. Perfect because it's all random cards. So two can is there okay? I'm saying, man. He's gonna go for game next turn. He has to. Yeah, I, agree I, I think, I think he's okay. Beard has to go for game. You're not surviving that board. You go... Let's see if you start with the right numbers though. People always mess up swinging. Like the ace should just swing, swing right for now. seven right yeah. now. Immediately. Don't do any no questions. I want my opponent to give me info first. No, 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 no. Why? Seven. It's the same number. Ace can do that without a Don. Yeah. You give two cards right now, right? If he has it. I don't know what those cards are. No, but I'm saying, like, if you have it, you give it right now, right? Yeah, I think. Probably. He has, it. he has it. Yeah. I think you give it right now. He has two 2Ks and a dead card. Mm -hmm. If he gives it, he has. he's all dead. I still don't like what he just did, though. Ace was so oh, free. Man, like, why waste a dot? This like dot management is all this game's about half the time. <laughs> I just want to know what was in David's hand last turn. He had a Sanji and a Bad Manners and two unknowns. Right? He had four cards in hand or five? Four. 
Four or five. I don't know. He, he had, took it. He took it by the way. He had five. Killing nine. So now he's gonna have to take this. Yeah, I think and he just won. Put it all on Newgate. Yeah. Yeah, you won. Sure. All on Newgate. Yeah, Newgate still wins. Like, see, this is, so how, this is how good of a matchup this is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. And that's why I didn't love the judge play. Yeah, what was that? I want David to flip his hand. Uh, the booster straw so, hat card, which I don't know so why you I didn't play. You that three one Ks. And an event that doesn't do anything as a counter, right? So let's let's say he drew one of the one Ks. It's one, well, two, three, three, four. He let's say he had this, right? He had three cards. He had the three one Ks. Yeah, he would have won. He would. He would. K, but yeah. So two K discard a one K. Bad manners and a two K. That's what he got rid of in a one K, right? He just all he discard yeah. bad manners, right? Yeah. So bad manners discard the event or whatever. Uh, go to twelve. And then uh, 2k and a 1k. Yeah, he would have been okay, yeah. actually. I still think it was right. 11, 13. How? Okay, so he, he, was, an he was an AK leader. Yes. So the it's Sanji puts him at 10. Yeah. Batmaners hit course minus. Puts him at 13. And then he has two 1ks. We just saw his hand in but because if he, he did oh, if, if he, he yeah. if the and so if the event wasn't so basically we had to say that either he discarded his whole hand right yeah yes yeah. yeah but if he had the event in his hand then it was you're no. pitching it to the the bad manners of course if he had the um the event that he showed at the last so you have five cards in hand those no because then he doesn't have the two one case what i'm trying to say you have five cards in hand you discard two for bad manners no. Puts you at 11. Well, okay. A 2K yeah. puts you at 13. One, yeah. 1K. 14, 15. Welcome, Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Top four now. The Brandon Show continues. The Brandon Show. Welcome <laughs> to the gun show for Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> Always in his tank top. Him still rocking the RP loop. He hasn't dropped a game today against uh, Goblin yeah, or Alexis. He's 6-0. He's 6-0 against Alexis with the Red Yellow Sabo, the legendary 23 life, 26 life local. 26. Did you hear about that? What? Oh, 26. yeah, I saw that on Twitter, actually. He put it on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to be known. I tweeted it first, and homie didn't even retweet me. Yikes. No, he did his own tweet. Yeah, he did his own tweet, bro. <laughs> so then I just retweeted his tweet and put a quote on it. We're still there. We're involved. We're involved. We're involved. Happened at his lucky tank top, yeah. Skin hat. He uses that one in competition more than the camo hat he usually wears as well. You know? He's... He... He's not a camo guy. Yeah, he is. I mean, yeah. he he is, but like you don't look at Corpus and you're like, yeah, what is Brandon a like a? Guy. Is Brandon like a foresty guy outside of card games? Yeah. He like goes in the woods, goes kayaking sure. and stuff like that. He's anyway. just always right. That's Brandon. True. Okay. <laughs> All right. Always right. <laughs> let's go, Brandon. Is that what... All right. Anyway. Yes, Knox is here. Let's go, Brandon. Does he really? Yeah, it's his name. He really does. Yeah, he's I know that's his name. He's very hyped about himself. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. It's his name. Dude, he's the most hyped person about him. He believes, he truly believes, he, when he walks into the tournament, he thinks he's the best player, which is how you should. Right? He, thinks he, he does do it, that. And you have to do that and have that mindset. Even when Garrett's in the room, bro? Yeah. He does do that. That's All right, crazy. it looks like Goblin, Goblin back to the game. Goblin back to it. Double sixes. Didn't know versus a lot of people to carry in the store. Brandon got insane guns out for display. Yeah, he really does, dude. He's going to get me T.O.S. at this, this point. This is yeah. Lauren, of course. And see, there it is. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Where's right. that timer? Is it started? Uh, good we, question. We create our own timer. But uh, Corpus opening up with double Bon Clay. Bon Bon, if you will. And now it's gone. And now it's gone. You didn't like that. Must be Bass Pro Shop locals. Yikes. <laughs> so funny. Me and me imagine, the Bass Pro imagine playing on a boat. That'd be dope. I I've been saying we need to do like Yu Gi Oh style cruise ship one piece like pirate ship tournament. Yeah, that'd be cool. That's a real pirate party. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is Alexis is decorating upside down. He's cheating. He's like, he's like on a cruise. Yeah, a cruise, but on a pirate ship. Yo, that's where Larkana and Ass is gonna be. Br Brad's asking him, dude. Brad just or is that? Me. Like he just flipped this card around. Are they all the same orientation? They are now. Well, the life is, but what about the deck? Yeah. We could always recheck. I just told them not to. No, at 
At regionals, I can't read. Oh, chat. at the regionals, yeah. Well, at regionals, they're not supposed to be reading chat. Yeah. Um, they got to focus. So three life. Nope. Yep. <laughs> and goblin with potentially twenty six. I would choose to go first. Mm hmm. Yeah, he won the die roll with double six. Yeah, yeah, I think you want to. Yes, you do. I guess you want to like get your life going there. So. I don't know. Or have first attack against Luffy. Actually, but maybe. same thing with the Yamato on round one. You're just automatically your triggers off of life can put stuff into play. So huge. bigly huge. Yeah. Bigly huge. <laughs> Passing no no searchers for Corpus this game. Um Are we just aiding here? Like yep. three nope. Oh, turtle. that card's a three drop. Turtle. Turtle. Turtle Dirtle. Kar Karamasu. 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 I love how Brandon's reading this card like he doesn't know what it does. I don't think he remembers what it does. I'm pretty sure Brandon does. <laughs> no, I don't think he does. <laughs> we played this match. Did you play? Did you think he remembers that was a question? No. Uh, maybe. Brandon is himbo. <laughs> <laughs> We're at Karamasu again. Huge card. Trash two cards from your hand. That's one character with zero power to the top of the deck. And the top of decks have a Pokemon like Dragon. Is that just the collection? So those are just the sleeves on the cards, not the actual cards themselves. So Brandon is using Pokemon sleeves, but they are. That do be Charizard. They are sleeving. Charizard. Sleeve deep ding One Piece cards. All right. We got Bond Clay going in. Swing it for six. There's no world that doesn't. Swing seven. Seven. What well, if he's it? like. I don't want him to trigger a guy. He made a misplay. He shouldn't have played it first. He should have just attacked because Kiku kills it. Um, oh, Nami kills it. Kiku doesn't. Okay, yeah, he's not running on Nami. But you're right. He could, but I promise you, he's not running on. Yeah, seven and no trigger. Which yeah. uh, Goblin's deck, I really think it's like something like sixty-five percent triggers. <laughs> All right, give me a two K. I think Brandon takes this. Yeah. Let's see. Double Rush Luffy, Blompe, uh, and I can't. I think there was also a Dog Storm in there, but I'm not sure what else. And then Corpus, give him a Pronosuke, and then eight at life. Goblin says, put. Karamasu in my life, past turn. So then Brandon has. First of all, this is actually insane because now uh, Von Clay doesn't do anything. And well, he attacks with a life rush. He attacks with a leader, no? No. Well, Bonclay does he attack? The health points. No, he's saying attack with Luffy to make up if Goblin takes it, oh, puts it into play, out. and then I he can. Yeah. But... It just changes the line of play. He just kind of out, but that's that's what I mean. Sure. But Brandon was actually right to combo out because of that eight K swing. Because of the potential for it. Yeah. I just saw Brandon would get greedy. That is his. his yeah, user. I was just about to say that is his username. Greed. Okay. That's big. He's a big full metal guy. I know someone else like that. That's why him and I get along so well, dude. <laughs> FBA Brotherhood is one of the best enemies. Really Yo, that's sub with the tier one. Let's go. Thank you. Yo, thank you, Allison. Thanks, Allison. I'll pick ten for your number. <laughs> for don't song. listen to Brand. Or... <laughs> don't, don't listen to Ben. I'm poor now. It's okay. We can all be poor together. Well, you and me. I don't know about the rest of the guys in this room. Is this what's he trying ben? to do? Yes. What is the Ben? I might talk about you. That's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I might talk about you. Okay, now this is getting creepy. I don't know. I, I... Oh, thanks. <laughs> See? You're so nice. Who's Katniss? <laughs> I, I don't know who <laughs> Katniss is, but... Um... Congrats on your baby. Yep. Thank you, Ben. You know you're rich if you can have a baby. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh, <okay>. oh. <laughs> Gerald, you clown. The only clown here is you. You for not being here. Yeah. I don't want to dox you, bro. I didn't say your name out loud. You just threw it, though. I did. Well, I threw the paper that <laughs> you... your name. Okay, so moving only in for six. Six. 
six on seven? Drake. Wait. What is this? Oh, that's it's six. I'm done. Oh, it, how did we not see that dot? Okay, so seven on seven. Um, reading his own card. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Oh, is this a judge question? Yeah, that looks like it. Bye, Ryan. Oh, Ryan. I like how you're the head judge not going out. I'm not the head judge. Not for this event. He's the guy chilling. One piece. (laughs) I am the head judge of one piece. That is that of her. That is that is a thing. However, it's a little zero judge. It's whatever you want to call it. But I can answer the question. But they're just doing their own thing. They'll figure it out. Isn't asking. He's not allowed to ask what the result of him doing X. You can explain. Would... I always, I don't, I never give a hypothetical situation. I just explain how I, I can explain how, like, when attack this attack. Well, this is on attacks. What happened before this? I'll answer generically how things will work in the okay. game, but not explain this interaction. There's packs on the line, chat. Wow. It's a box, right? Yeah. It's a whole, whole ad box. I mean, that's why they should play it out. What was the split for top four? The split for top four? I don't, okay. I don't know the split for top four was. What was the question? Yeah. So, Red, Yellow, Sabo makes Karamasu a 7K on Brandon's turn. Yeah. And Brandon wanted to know, does it copy its base power or does it copy its current power? If it doesn't say base, it's current power. It's current power. It covers the current power. Right. What was confusing them is card players don't know how to read. And it says, this card on Clay's power base power. power. Yeah. So that's why they got confused. Yeah, so but, so it become a seven. Yep. Yes. I do know how it works. You you know something about the rules. Crazy. I really like that about you, Ben, that you're really good on the rules. No way. <laughs> My wife's all good on the eyes, but I don't want to believe it. But but <laughs> I, I feel like there's like a lot of things happening in this game and not a lot at the same time. It's well, kind of weird. Corpus is at one. I mean, that's white beer logic. The game's not over. The game just started. Yeah. We started with three life. He took two. I mean, we have a Sabo player in the room, so it's going to be a long time. Brandon isn't Sabo hang thinking this. about plays that should probably be instinctual that he's just going to attack there. <laughs> so, seven on seven. Oh, he attacked life. Yep. Yeah, he just copied. Oh, he, he, he yeah, the, the hand motion was indicating the copy, so. But should have and goblin nine big. put the trigger in life instead of the Luffy and boosted the Luffy. Like that's that's a question, right? I, I think that's what I would have done because I want the card to come back out and like or does he want to reattack, right? Is he ever just trying to get by with it? I don't know. I think it was just the order that he did things he kinda like messed up. Uh question mark? And we're taking it. It was... What is that event? No idea. Maybe. Doesn't trigger. Another one. Ooh, that one? one life. It might be. That's one of your opponent's games that cost less the top and bottom of their life for one mana. You figure the trigger. You may add one card. You may add one card. If that's what it is, it's the same event. Do Brad just win this turn? Like, without playing new game? I mean, now that he did, it's just like, look at this floor. Oh, you mean like on Brandon's journey? Yeah, like, yeah. isn't it over? I mean, yeah, I think so. Long uh, Clay is dead. Long Clay is dead. Blue Eyes, White Dragon. Uh, I would I would guess that's the wrong game, but I'm not too sure. There might be one soon. <laughs> we don't know what Oda's thinking. I mean, Kaido in his dragon form kind of looks... Has blue dragon, it's yellow blue. eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yellow eyes, blue dragon. <laughs> it's so close. It's like a literal opposite. Of... Iori? Okay. Even He's gonna... okay. He must be cooking. It was he who, I believe he... Rare? No, I doubt it. Okay. Uh, That's hype. I believe he puts the zero cost event. Oh, yeah. He's, he's popping off. Is that a Corbett? Yeah. Although the Cormac well. also pops off about random things. I really hope so. he pulled up. I really hope I mean, he, he could have got right. a Diablo Jobly. He doesn't even know. Well, Cormac punched me in the face earlier, <laughs> accidentally. Oh, I punched Ryan yeah. by accident, though. So. 
Yeah. But like the... Yeah, hey, but I mean, he didn't punch me in the face. Like, Michael punched me in the face. It was kind of crazy. Like, on purpose? Like, no, it was accidentally, yeah, but he punched me in the face. It was nuts. Yikes. It was nuts. Okay. So, played... Played Hiori, put zero costs... Event. Event. Or a guest. Or a guest. Or it has to be, right? I think I saw it. Like, I want to say... That is correct, Allison. I, I think... I keep saying I think because I don't know what to do. I truly don't know what he's trying to do with his hand. His cards, I don't know what they do. They have effects that do stuff out of life that don't really have a lot of impact on the board, right? That's kind of like the gimmick of the deck, it feels. That he mm-hmm. plays. He overwhelms the board by putting things in his life. Right. That's why I wondered why he didn't do the opposite order of the previous turn with the, with the Luffy and the Caramel. So, yeah. What? He's going into this kid, which I think is the right play. Kid needs to die. Yeah. A million to kid. So what is that? Actually, that's only three over, right? This card pop zero cost. Oh, he puts the Hiori in his life. Yes. Big. That's like that. That's sick, actually. And then he gets to put Karamasu in his life. That was actually a... <laughs> that's okay. big brain. See, this is things okay. you only see when we play the deck. That's sick. That's a crazy play. Yeah. That was sick. We thought we were... Well, I thought he was cooked. Yeah. That was completely wrong. This deck yeah, is very, it, like, very cool. Ago. Very cool deck. Is Brandon going to combo out and save this, or is he going to think longer? I mean, he's definitely <laughs> thinking longer. <laughs> but, like... <laughs> yeah, because it's only three over, right? Yeah. So, just uh, double 2k. In a perfect world. He has to have it. He has a one who's like, Nami in his hand. I can't tell. He has a Frankie. It. I don't know what that card That's is. That's what I mean about how Queen? he stacks his cards. That's definitely... The top card's definitely a Frankie. It's a Frankie and Nami. Mm-hmm. He's giving us the finger. True. I'm... That's why he always wears tank tops. Because he's in the tank all, all the, the time. time. I, you have to protect this, right? Like, <laughs> at, the day, you're giving, you, at the end of the day, you're not letting this die, right? Like, you cannot let this you, kid die? Right. I wouldn't want the kid die. That's well. There it goes. That but, feels wrong, no? How did Garrett do? He's commentating. Yeah, <laughs> he literally he's literally he's here right now. So, <laughs> yeah. Gerald, I think um, I think that will answer your question for you. He's the true winner. I think you won, Garrett. I mean, Gerald. I, I just wanted Garrett. to give him a chance. That's all. <laughs> true. So, Goblin suddenly at three life now with like eight cards in hand. Um, totally switched like the the dynamic of the board. It's very interesting. Radio Sabo, fun deck, cool stuff. I really like the deck actually. Because you and Cody, leaders, you and Cody yeah. played a lot of it when he first came out. Yep, I, it was a queen. I think out of the three brothers, that it has like the most interesting as the card pool expands. Mm. Like I don't know how much better Black Yellow Luffy can get. Kind of needs Gecko. It kind of needs all the things that Artie has. Plus, like, the new Luffy it's getting. But Sabo's just going to get so Yo, he just discarded Radbeam? Hello? Yeah, he did. Big. Let's Big see. tell. Okay, so Goblin, million cards in hand, but one of them is basically dead. Because it, we think it's a Heavenly Fire card. Yes. I think if I'm... Oh, no, I wish I could see what's in Brandon's hand. I think if I'm Brandon, I'm, I'm probably going like seven, and then white beard. But unless you have another like five or six cost. Card. He has six mana, right? So he has six dawn. He gets if he has a vanilla Sanji that he plays, maybe you play that, and pass. Uh, like, is there a world where you just don't attack, or you just leave too much on the table if you don't attack? Like, because you're just gonna let the. Kawamatsu be a plate, right? Yeah, like, he just puts Kawamatsu He's going to put Don on it and put it right back, right? If he doesn't attack, then it just makes him have to play a card, then put it to life. So it's a lot more of a Don investment. And that, that character's probably not getting immediate value. And then he only has to protect against one swing. Correct. But I don't know, because like, I feel like you have to go seven swing and you have five Don up. Like, I, it's just like, what are you doing with this extra Don, right? But here's the thing, right? At this point, Goblin can just loop two life. Yes. Forever. Between Hiori and Karamatsu? Yeah. Yep. Like, he can just, for two mana, play that card down every turn. 
We have but it has to make it 7k though. Huh? Yeah. He has to make put, to put it back in life. He has to make a 7k unless That's his fun. cards go. But no, I'm saying he has to be able to like use Kalamatsu's to put it back, right? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. but that card's not ever dying if you keep putting it back. Is my point. Like it's just a loop at this point. That's so cool. <laughs> um, it's never gonna be on the board. Brandon doesn't run Otamas, right? Do you need a way to? I mean, he can theoretically, if it's on the board, he could just play Shanks. True. <laughs> Kill it. True. But he's never gonna leave it there. I, I see what you're saying. He needs a way to get rid of Kalamatsu, but in, in, the, in my opinion, the way to do it is by not attacking. But but we haven't seen an Otama even in trash, right? So it's not yes. like he can Otama and then Marco he, or Donna yeah. or, he or, need, or not. He Marco needs to have a way to like generate like two characters on board that's not like small guys, so that he can have something next turn, which is why I think like protecting the, um, protecting the kid was good. Mm. He has five dollar up, right? I think yeah. you just played. Grabbed a rush looper. You just played. He just right? passed with those cards. He must have had four on there. What? Maybe four, but what did he do it? Because oh, he gave a dawn to his leader to swing for seven, mm. right? So five plus five for the queen. You get one back, so four for the queen. And then one there. What? Yeah, he only had four. Up. So this is something that I feel like comes up a lot with players, Ben. I'd like to hear your opinion because we just saw Brian take a pretty long time with this turn, to be honest. Um, what's, wh- what do you call slow play? I think, so the rule book for One Piece and Man, I can use the public number on it. If you play Pokemon, I think, I'm not sure what other games, where it says like you have X amount of time per types of action. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that you should, I think players need to play at a, like an appropriate place to have the game come to a complete finish, right? And that's up for debate with what that really means. I think that when when I watch and when I'm street table judges walking around like during tournaments, I wait, like I take it with the players' hands and look at how many actions they could theoretically make. Like how complicated is the turn? What turn is it? There's more mm-hmm. to it because like you don't want him to like rush into a play, but you also they can't take forever because it is a card game. There is a set amount of time to play, so they have to make decisions because you don't get to make take a 20 minute turn to figure out what is the most right. optimal line, right? So it's kind of just like using your gut instinct as like a judge to be like. Or as a player, and honestly, as a player, you should be the biggest advocate for yourself. As a player, you advocate for yourself for the time of the event, for the time of the round. So you should just like take that into account. Like when you look at it, like okay, you're taking like two minutes and not do anything. Like you need to, you need to move it up. Like you took way too long. Like it's fine. And then if you play something that take another two minutes, that's not that's not feasible. That's not a way to fix it. If you take two minutes, communicate with your opponent. Hey, I'm thinking. Then I'll make all my plays really quickly. Right. Then do it all. Right. That's one thing. So I think it's just also doing that, kind of making sure you're being, at like, you're acknowledging the time from as soon as the time starts. Players don't usually think about time until it gets lower, right? Until it's, like, five minutes left in the round, two minutes left in the round, you're at time. Well, that's what I was asking, because, like, I mean, they have plenty of time still in this game. Do they, though? I mean, it's 11 minutes. Sure. But, like, I'm saying, like, a turn like Brandon just took, that starts to factor in now, yep. you know? This is about the time where I'd start looking at the clock. Right. Like Brandon's turn, last turn, is where I'm like, what time is it really? And yeah. I think, I think like, I'm just curious. Well, what Ben said is a thousand percent correct. Like, I don't disagree with a single word of that. But if I had to put a number on like how long is too long, anything over 90 seconds, so 120 seconds for no action, in my opinion, is where it's probably, like... yeah, especially if you're not communicating with your opponent during that time. Another thing to look out for is um, uh, the leader effect, Allison. The leader, uh, Sabo leader, lets him take, um, one of his characters on his board that meets a specific condition, which is three cost or more with 7,000 power. So he, and he can put that card face up in his life. So that card, like the turtle looking Kawamatsu, um, has 5,000 power base. He gives it to Don, which makes it 7,000. So then it meets the criteria for the leader to add back to his life. So in it, and then its effect is if that card's in your life and you attack his life, it comes right back into play. So he's looping that every single turn. So he can't really get rid of it. Very interesting deck. Mm-hmm. But um, going back to your... Uh, Did Brandon take that life? Or is he still thinking about combo out? He's still thinking about combo out. This, this, this is where, this is where I'd be, I mean, I would have been like, yo, man, you got to move. Yeah, I checked my phone. We moved on to conversations and yep. still take like, care. You have like you four know? cards in hand. <laughs> you know, you're, you're, you're in the tank. I get it. But like, you got to move on the game. Alexis plays really quick also. Like I've noticed yeah. that when I was watching him play, he plays really quick too. Yeah. So like, okay, bro, you gotta See, make a man. This this is where he's now. Do like, I this is where I don't, no, it's okay. It's been, what, what did I say? Eleven eleven forty. Well, that it's was been two minutes now. Just thinking about taking a hit. 
Like these are the actions I mean, to it's me up that to you. you, you want to intervene, go right ahead. You're the judge of that, right? I think, but this is a time like where Brandon. The thing is, I don't think Brandon slow plays. I think he's like we always say he plays slow. Whenever you play against Brandon, he plays really slow. He thinks way too much. But Alexis also needs to be like you need to make a play. Yeah, it's, it's as a player, you can just a rad beam and do a two K. Yeah, it's not malicious, but it is. I'm not saying it is. No, of course not. Of course not. I mean, I love Brandon. Yeah, but my my point is, it's a topic that comes up in card games all the time, mm -hmm. especially this one time. When you're how much time minutes. should an opponent have? All these things. To me, it's like you gotta start calling out actions now, not waiting till it's called overtime. Exactly. You know what look, I mean? that's what, that's that's yeah. my ultimate point, right? You need to look at twenty minutes in the round. You're taking two minutes to like your first play that move on. Like we got we got things to do, places to be. I mean, I lost a time today, and it's because I wasn't saying things like right now. Like, I waited till overtime thinking I would just win anyways. Mm -hmm. It didn't work that way. Exactly. Like, you need to play faster. Like, in the game, like, a lot of players are like, oh, so one piece takes a long time for a game. It really doesn't at the core of the game. Players just want to take more time to try to make the most precise action. And you need to understand that a part of the game is also your how much time you think. Yeah. Because you're on a clock. You can't have unlimited time. Yeah. Like, Brandon Implement has not made a move. No shot. That'll just clocks. Happen. Nope. Also, Goblin just kind of like looked at the cameras and made eye contact with it. It was very interesting. <laughs> but like Brandon still has just drawn a card for this turn. He needs to make a play. He's like that's the thing, right? This is where Goblin needs to be like, yo, play faster, play faster, play faster. Well, here's the thing. Granted, it benefits Goblin to, for him to play slow. One hundred percent. This is making Goblin win the yeah. game, which is probably why he's not saying anything. Exactly. Also, he, like I I don't know if this is Goblin's first card game, but if it is his first card game. He probably doesn't have like that adherent knowledge of like, hey, I need, I eventually need to tell my opponent to speed up. Maybe, uh, yes, kind of, Allison. Um, it's you, you have like a set time limit for the whole game to be played, so it's thirty minutes, then five minutes of overtime. So it's not like each player gets fifteen; it's a collective thirty. And I'm saying we should make it where each player gets fifteen. <laughs> I, I think it'll never happen. It's but... too hard to implement because then, like, how would you have? How would you 500, 300 chess timers? 500 for a 1k five. event. Yeah. 1,000 for a two-man event. That's just not feasible to move. I wish it was that way, though. Yeah. Um, Kind of, but that's really bad manners, and most people will get called out for it, and repetitiveness can get you, like, in trouble. You can get pen penalized, which is what we're kind of discussing as here as common yeah, the, the term is slow playing, and you never want to be doing that idea. Also, Kid Killer is insane in this song. Look how fast yes. he's playing, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alexis planned out his this turn, turn. His next turn. The three turn minutes ago. <laughs> he had the time to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, see, Brandon's counting Don. He's Brother. counting This is Don. where I start to get frustrated. He's holding a handful of Don. What's he thinking about? They're tapped. They're all tapped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which some of those dons should be on his characters, by the way. But yes. you know, yeah, he shouldn't have a handful of dons. He should have like two don. Big heat. Okay, combo does. Mm. Quick dish. Eight mana. Eight don. What's he doing? Yep. So, two of that has to go on Karamasu. Like has to. He's counting. It's going there. Nope. <laughs> He should because he has a kid killer in hand. Yo, Keyblade Master, thanks for that follow. Welcome to the squad room. Man, I don't, I don't, I mean, what, what is the Jeff play? He has, he has the red rush Luffy, which he's got to right swing jet. seven, and then you play a killer and swing nine. In his hand. And then put Carol Monster yeah. back in life. And then keep the loop. And keep we pressure. know the, even if he takes all yeah. three life, he has an additional life because yeah. of the zero cost event. Yo, Brando, thanks for oh, that follow. That's the follow. Was, I was like, what is that? <laughs> it's alerts, bro. Hey, cool. so, so see, look. We got a 7k swing going into a 7k leader here. Two cards in hand. This is, decisions are done. You're either blocking or you're comboing. I'd or get, taking, I would I guess. Get, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you're, you're, you get like, realistically like, a little bit of time. He's, Brandon's played more time in this game than Goblin. Uh, I that's would love to see like those two okay. timers. Two K. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> actual turn play. So twenty five minutes happens. I would say it's twenty <laughs> to five. <laughs> Probably eighteen. 
Thanks for hosting today's event. Felt good to play again. Definitely, we'll come back. Yo, thanks, Yo, thank man. you so much. Thanks, thank you. Keyblade. Thanks for showing up, bro. Glad you had a good time. Keep I killing. can't live take it. Such a good card. It really is. Yo, did you put? A... Oh, you could have put kids in his hand. In his hand? I mean, with life. Yeah, but you did with Caramel. I'm saying. Good have. True. Heard big. And this way he can and now loop. Now he can kill the seven K on his like, opponent. He's got a grip, dude. Look at Alexis's hand. Yeah. We're, we're four minutes left in the round until overtime. Corpus going back to the tank in this tank. Got three minutes. <laughs> he's, got literally, he's got literally three cards in his hand. Literally three cards in his hand. One's probably a combo knocking a played. He has like five characters. You're, you, why are, you, the, the first thing first, thing first like, you're just probably going to swing with the kids. So you got to figure out if you're going to use your dog or not, right? Alexis is chilling. He's like, yeah. He's like, bro, you take all the time you need. I have yep. life. You ain't going to, you never. You had zero so life. The only reason I even bring this up is because if I'm Alexis, I need to tell them to play a little faster because I'm gonna get bored to a point where I'm gonna mess up eventually. Facts. I'm dude. serious. <laughs> like I, you, you're locked in, but because they're taking so slow, you're you're, you're no longer are, locked yeah, in. Yeah, like, like, care, care. Care. You have four on board. You didn't need to space them out. Brandon's just gonna listen back on this. And I hope he does. Bring all of us up. <laughs> you can string yeah. anybody up, but it's true. <laughs> it's so. I mean, like, all he's done is draw a card. This. <laughs> <laughs> he's drawn a card and waited. So guys, like, anybody watching, you watch this on YouTube, you watch this live right now, like you think about these times, like when you're in a regional, do you see a person draw a card, you have like two cards in hand, and you go like, man. And then you're gonna wait till overtime happens, be like, oh, dude, I think he was slow playing me. Like, call them on and out. Like, advocate for yourself, be like, yeah. hey man, could you play play a little faster? We're going to overtime, you drew a card, like I know it's very stressful right now. Like, keep it very professional. Let them know yeah, keep that it like, light. keep it light. Just like you want to be able to finish the game in a positive manner with your opponent based on the other time rules of the game, right? Like, that's all you want. And if at any and, point that they give any pushback, that's when you call a judge. Yeah, like, if they, say, if they do that or if you think it's repetitive, please call a judge. Like, you, we're you here can, to help you, but you need to be the number one person for yourself as a player. But to Ryan's point, like, 12 minutes ago, I said, but they have plenty of time. And Ryan I said, told but you, I, told, I said, no, they don't, because that's when oh, they happen. Yeah. Like, I said, no, because this is what's going to happen. You see a pattern that's going to happen. Yeah. Because, I was saying, like, let's say, for example... In a bad situation, right? This probably wouldn't happen. It's not what Brandon's doing. What What if we go to time rolls? Brandon then goes to he takes all of his life, and then the he's not able to get back to zero life, right? He we, it ends on Brandon's turn. He puts him to zero, and, and then it's zero, to, and then he has, and then it goes mm. zero zero. So like, let's say life is now equal. It goes to the next tiebreak, and that is going to be cards in deck. And then what if Brandon has more cards in deck than Goblin? Then Brandon wins because of that. So there's cheeky ways to do that, which is not, which breaks the like the manners of the game, which is not what the game wants to do at all, which is what we're here to like uphold. But with Brandon's board state, he could take three lives it's this turn. Strategic to yeah. a point, though. Like it's it's strategy versus like doing winning outside the rules. Like we've still just drawn a card. <laughs> <laughs> He's pissed. He his eyes. Yeah. He needs Goblin to, did? Yeah, I think you might want to go sit out there for the last bit, Ryan. Like, I, I'm not trying to be... <laughs> He'll just now, run a call. The timer like, might be off by a few seconds, too, so just baby him for the second, yeah. But he needs to make a play. There's three minutes left on the timer. Yeah, we got three one minutes. on the... I'm behind. Oh, okay. I have one on... Yeah, because I... I so we have three minutes left. Yeah, okay. so we have three minutes left. Uh, right? Okay, we're going to change. Two this. minutes and 45 seconds now. Uh, two minutes... That's there. Yeah, it's fine. It's closer. 240. Just go sit. I mean, just go sit. So with you them. want me to go? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got our first attack. Newgate killed kid killer. <laughs> oh gosh. Pablo <laughs> doesn't look that. Ryan is like, okay, thank God for the judge here. Yeah, but going back to Allison, it's not that like it's. What are you picking up Nami for? Okay. Oh. Ah. See, see, this is where you question whether or not he was making a play like based on time rules or not. Well, he thought this out for yeah. sure, but you still don't take that long or just communicate like you said. Correct. Or you, it's, it's all about communication when you're playing. You know, like you need to be able to talk to your opponent because it's like, yeah, I'm gonna take a long time, but I'm gonna play my favorite rest really fast. You know, like apologize to your opponent, let them know like what you're thinking, what you're doing. We may not like what's going on your head, but like, hey, I'm taking a little bit of time. I know. I apologize. See, Ryan sat down and Brandon picked up the pace also to play. True. Just point that out, guys. Also true. When judges are around, typically people play, tend to play faster, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. 
<laughs> what is I like how he played it and put it backwards. So he didn't read it. I have no idea what that card does. It's a two mana card? Two dawn. If anybody chat knows what this card is, please let me know. know. What archetype is it? It's yellow and has a trigger, it's two dawn. That's all I know for you. This? The there it is. Deck. Flame Dragon King. That's what yeah. it was. Flame Dragon King. Up, counter up to one of your leader character cards. It's plus 4k for the battle. Look at all of your lights cards and place them back to light your life in any order. That's cool. Look at Alexis. Already moving and grooving. They should know what the cards say, yeah. Like, I build my 50. I should know what my cards say. Nine times out of ten, people just go online, build a deck based on the cards. Other people, the decks are doing well based on tournament results. And then they, like, just play them. And they they assume they know what they do. But they really don't. But Brandon did some good stuff last turn. Like, Brandon actually had a good turn. Like, let's not take away from yeah, the way and, Brandon's playing. And he did. Because he's playing a good game. He's playing a good game. It's just, it's hard to play because it's, if, if Fringe is on the line of, like, is it strategy? Yeah. Or is it bad manners? Yeah. Like, no pun intended, right, for the cards in his deck? This like, matchup seems incredibly awkward for him, too, because it, it's, like, RP Luffy really just wants to smash, 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 right? And it's like, this guy just keeps gaining life. I'm yeah. just shocked and, and he didn't also, play the zero cost to put it back into life yep and then another true but another big thing for goblin like in, in part of the matchup is like his electrics are all live immediately yeah immediately there's not like a turn where it's not live like i wonder if that was like a mistake maybe but, i mean he knows what that last life is he put it there and they're definitely an OT now as well. Their goblin is turn zero, so Brandon will have last. Does the five, which is which is, which is bad. What happens right? first, the five minutes or the plus three? Uh, five right, whatever happens, whatever happens. Well, yeah, first. five minutes. Like, will if you come. play three turns, with the, before five minutes, are you're over, done. You're done. Yeah, okay. but if you play five minutes, only have one turn. You you got yeah. your five. Minutes. Like Brandon could realistically, the way he, the pace of play he's been playing, a turn would cost the whole OT. I mean, right now we're still looking at one swing, still trying to combo out of a seven K. And from like, the Sabo. Not trying to play the cop. Oh, see? Okay. Is there a mana? He has no hand now. So if they're thinking after this. Does he have a rush card? I mean, even if he does, there's still a queen on board. You still play it, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he just wins. Does he have two Don? Oh, he doesn't have two Don. Okay. I was like, damn. He kept one up. He's got like five cards in hand still, too. He's got, what, three attackers, really? Four with Nami? Did you just make Nami seven right now? Attack with kid. Attack with Nami. Attack with kid. Save the new gate. Save the new gate for last. I'd probably swing kid first. Well, you want to use Dominus, right, to give him a free one to you, Nami first, right? Like, you put it on Nami. Swing with Nami, so you get the free Don minus, so you're not Yeah, anymore. you're gonna get a Don back. And it, like the only time that wouldn't matter is if that's a rusher. Only time it doesn't matter, right? Yeah. And you just need to make it five, so you just get make it four. Right? If you don't want to commit too much. And here here's what Ben was talking about too, and like being respectful too, because like this turn's gonna decide the game for Brandon. And Goblin just passed. He could have slow rolled that place so oh, much. Oh yeah. Brandon. No, he's like, being Brandon did. totally respectful. But Brandon's got a lot to think about here. He does. But you're also an OT, and they're still like, you have to move. Like, they're still just drawing a card. Like, that's why I was like, I, because a part of the game is about how quickly you can think about things. Not everyone gets 20 minutes per turn. Correct. That's a big thing. And, like, that goes to the people who play tests who dedicate, like, a lot of time to it. Right. Thank you for the follow, Cap Dogs. Yo, thank you, Cap. Or Doge. Cap Doge. Cap Dog. I don't know. But I think it's a big thing. Like, it goes to the people who practice so much. Like, if I was to pick up. Sabadek, I'd read every card be taking so much longer and not playing at the pace of play as Goblin did. And it would not be the same respect I give my opponents like he does and how quick his play, pace He's of play is. He's doing exactly what you said. He has to. It's a, I figured it out in a bit. What? Yeah. Ten seconds, I knew the play for the turn. It was super simple from my eye view, right? Like, it makes no, makes complete sense to me. But like, that's just because, like, I play aggro with you. I test with you, right? Yeah. Red makes sense to me. So it seemed like how I'd win the game. It was a bit, I'd give Nami, I'd attack with Kid minus it, and just attack with the gate last. I agree with that play because he's a combo. No, he doesn't have combo. It's a 3-5. Oh, no combo. Then why'd you have to hear that? I don't know. He's just saying it doesn't matter, I guess. Or maybe he has a zero cost event to discard a card in hand, and he's going to discard it because it doesn't have combo. Big. Yeah. 
Be brain. Yep. Right there. Just exactly what I said. So he's got to win with two swings here. And that's 9K. Yep. Show me that. Yep. He wins. Good game. Saba wins. Dang, that was tough. So they did finish in time. Barely. Barely. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. And like I said at the beginning, make sure you follow our Twitch.tv channel. Link in the description below. We do stream our One Piece card game local tournaments every single Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard. Don't miss out. Keep on gaming, gamers. Versus games.